Welcome back to Bourbon Real Talk. I'm your host, Scott Minton. Today, I am sitting down in, I'm going to call it the Old Carter Store slash Lounge slash Pop-Up Store. What, what, what are we going to call this, Mark and Sherry? Hello, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we like to say that this is the uh, Old Carter Showroom. The Old Carter Showroom. And it is a classic. showroom. It's, it's, it's pretty classic, pretty cool. Got some tin roof going on in here, all kinds of crazy good stuff. So, first of all, thanks for coming back on. Two of my favorite people in the whiskey business, Mark and Sherry Carter, are joining us today. As you probably heard as soon as I said, Oh, Carter, you know who we're talking to. And then we have a couple of uh, guest hosts on here today. We got Miss Jess Ann in the house. Hello, Clarice. <laughs> and then <laughs> Ryan Chester's in the house. What's up, Ryan? How's it going? Good to be back. Good, good, good. So, uh, September of 2020 is the last time we were able to sit down and talk and enjoy and have some good time and some fellowship. So I knew it was time to come back out again. So what's new since then? Well, we've done a lot of things uh, in the uh, last year and a half. Um, we've been uh, actually uh, able to move some of our operation, bottling operations, right here to 105 West Market Streets. And that was a big deal. Uh, we had been using other people's facilities to bottle for uh, quite a few years. So now we can uh, bottle uh, when we need to instead of getting on a schedule and waiting, you know, six months or a year to get on the schedule. So uh, that made it easier to bottle it uh, this, this year. The only problem was uh, we couldn't find labels. That was a, a kind of held us up. So our early releases didn't really get out till the end of the year. Gotcha. So you had trouble with labels, whereas I, I hear most people in the industry had trouble with glass. So did y'all just buy plenty of glass, I guess, early on that you, that, that we, wasn't an ill effect? We did. Uh, actually, throughout 2020, glass was a real issue for us. So last year, um, our, uh, our, our glass was ramped up, and we had a great supplier, domestic supplier. And we actually had to change our bottle, as you know, yep. um, from the one that we were using um, – before uh, supply became an issue, but it's nice to have a backup, and it's nice to have somebody who's right here in the U.S. making it for us. Yeah, and it, it, it's a subtle change, right? It's, it's not, very it's, subtle. It's yeah. not a massive change as and, far as the bottling. And we've actually worked within the design of the two, the two shapes, and we've been using the um, original glass for our very small batches, our single barrels, and special releases out of this space here at 105, and our larger... Um, small batch releases that go national, those have the the new bottle shape. Gotcha. gotcha. So, so let's talk a little bit more about the showroom. Um, you know, h- how did it come about? You know I, know, I know you guys have been working on it for a while because I think you all bought this building, what, in like 2018 or something like that. So tell me a little bit more about that piece of it. Yeah, um, we bought it. I, I think it was basically at 18. It's been working on it for about three years. Uh, two years ago, October, uh, Justice House of Bourbon was able to move into their shop. Uh, we, we own the whole building, and they actually do rent their space from us. And uh, then we got ours finished uh, about October of um, 21, I guess it was, or actually uh, 20. It was 20, actually. So we've been over, just over a year open in the space as a showroom and a place where we just have friends come over and have a little taste or do some podcast or you know, get to you know, know the community and stuff like that. Um, but we just started really bottling um, about, uh, when, when was the first bottling that we think, did here? Uh, probably at like September, October of last year, 21. Yeah. That's pretty, 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 pretty cool. Yeah. So well, I guess uh, to kind of give a description for people that maybe have or haven't been here and, and Ryan, I'll let you do that. So yeah. that way, uh, gorgeous room. I have, trying to think of what the shape of this room would be called it's like a semi octagon <laughs> is that is that is that a good a fair description mark can tell you he's a contractor <laughs> i think that sounds really pretty the good builder. we uh have a lot of uh, bottles up on top it is about uh, 16 foot high ceilings in here and uh we have uh, our single barrels and a lot of the things that we produced up to uh, about uh, a year and a half ago, uh, the new stuff is not up there yet, but hopefully we'll someday have some of the newer stuff up there. So it's kind of our library. How many bottles would you say is up here? Uh, I think there's over 300 bottles 300, up there. 300 <laughs> bottles. So you have multiples of different batches that you all have released and, and things to that nature. Hmm. 
Yes, so. it's not iced tea. It's not iced no, tea. Yeah. <laughs> it's the well, real deal. So the, what, what I always thought funny was, is like when you go to Old Forester, you see all the really cool stuff that they have sitting in there. And it's not iced tea, but it, it's not birthday bourbon sometimes. Or it's not, you know, whatever it says on the label. That's just the label they put on it. And they said you actually have to read the laser code to actually know what's in there, not the label. Because the label is almost never right. So I was like, that's so crazy. I would have never known that. The only ones that are truthfully like it, what it is, is actually in the museum part downstairs where the actual they have the entire run of all the birthday bourbons and a few other things down there but wild. everything else is all just you know it, it could r- really it, if it says mts tropicana it may not be that so i always thought i was like why would you do that like but they're like we sold out and we didn't have the forethought to keep one <laughs> <laughs> we know what that feels like yeah we don't really hold back too much uh, in fact a couple of things that we're going to try tonight day are actually one of six we usually hold try to hold one to six back and uh, we popped in a couple of them are going to be uh, bottle six gotcha gotcha so i learned this during bottling they're like jay who runs the facility here is like bottles one through six go to the carter so make sure the label is perfect make sure <laughs> that it's on straight make sure everything looks good because they're getting this bottle. bottle and then after that it's like you're on your own bottles one through six <laughs> now now, now. <laughs> perfection they're perfect it's because yeah. you have them here <laughs> Well, not only that, but also, I mean, you know, you, you got to have nice stuff, right? You know, this is why we have nice things. We want all it. the labels perfect. <laughs> I know. We, we work As the very designer, hard. I Listen, know you guys did I, We do very, I'm jo- I I'm get jo- really OCD because I am yes. like, and when I see people messing up, I'm like, at what point do I take over? Like, give me that. <laughs> <laughs> well, not only that, but I mean, just the care that you put into everything, right? Like the label's beautiful. The design's beautiful. And, and we've even talked the fact that you actually handwrite, you know, a lot of these things yourself. While and candles I, are lit and music is playing. And intentions are set <laughs> sherry so. is there exactly the so, mood the mood, mood. The mood is right that's why you Got get me. blessed juice <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to come over one I time love I love that mood. juice I love that me too it's spot on <laughs> All right, so let, let, let's talk through these batches and these single barrels and, and, and all that type of stuff. I know we've got, you said the two that y'all did from the recent pop-up release that y'all did. I guess, what was that, like the week after Thanksgiving or the week of Thanksgiving? The day after Thanksgiving. The day after Thanksgiving. Right? Yep. So we got batches or, or bottles or batch slash 24 and 25, which are barrels, right? Single, single barrels. Single barrels, yep. And then you got a handful of uh, very small select batches that you all have released uh, throughout the country and in the areas in which you guys are currently distributing through. So, yes. All right. Who's who's going to walk us through the the, the, the tasting and the notes? Twenty four. So I got got uh, actually barrel twenty four in my glass. Yeah, I got twenty four as well. Okay. And you put that in. I put it in the tall one. Yeah, for you. Thank you, Ryan. (laughs) Well, I can uh, say a little bit that. They are really pretty small. They're 14 year old, so um, there's 150 uh, bottles of barrel 24, and um, I think it comes in at 116 a point. I think that one's the lower one. I think it's like 110. What, well, that's the 118. Oh, is it 118? Okay, five. Gotcha. Yeah, that's 24. 24. Yep. Good so stepchild. When we when we did Sherry. when we did the pop up, it was a very um, spontaneous decision, and it really was. It really was. I've been was. following you guys, and all of a sudden, <laughs> like uh, everybody on Facebook was like, "Tag, tag, Scott, tag, Scott, tag." I'm like, "What is going on?" And like, I'm looking down, and I'm like, "Whoa, old Carter's doing a pop up tomorrow." Like, <laughs> I hadn't heard nothing about it, nothing else. So yes, it was very spontaneous. But, but I love that. Sherry about you. did think it out because she was like, "I don't want people to leave their family on Thanksgiving." So it was spontaneous in the fact she that she was very thoughtful. It was planned that week, but she did not want people missing out on dinner with their family, so she didn't announce it. Well, I didn't later. want anybody missing out on anything. Yeah. I don't. I you know we just yeah. we were very excited to um, to be able to open the doors and have a sale, and uh, so we just wanted it to you know. But we didn't know what to expect, and uh, and it was wonderful and a very um, a wonderful turnout, and uh, it was really fun, and <laughs> there were roses involved. Because it was your birthday. <laughs> At her birthday, she was like, "We're just gonna do it. it we're gonna birthday? have this right well, before it was, that." No, it was my birthday was after that, but gotcha. I, your party. It was a my special party birthday was the weekend session. before. But anyway, so um, these two barrels uh, just stood out to us as like the, this is what we are going to release and we were we were actually thinking we were only going to do one of them and we we said we're going to do both so 
24 and 25 were it. So 24 knows on this thing. Tom Ford. Just kidding. <laughs> That's Tom all I can Tom smell, too. Ford. It's like <laughs> the whole, we're both wearing the same perfume, and it's loud, but beautiful. <laughs> It's it's really really it's got a robust nose. I mean, it, it's got it's, it's very you know, it gets this, some leather, a little bit of caramel. And this is kind of what we shoot for all the time: is this kind of aromatics, and um, you know, it, it almost smells like we double oak this, but we didn't. Right. You know, which I, well, it's got way. enough age on it; that it's going to pick up a lot of the barrel, right? Yeah. Absolutely. I get a lot of citrus in this nose as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah I was going to say, yeah, you get some orange on it, and the taste is whew, really good. So we are hand in candy hand mic ginger. Today. Candy mm. ginger. Hmm. I want my pour back. <laughs> <laughs> you can have more, Ryan. <laughs> I, get a, I, I get a little of that candy ginger. I was going to say almost like a like a ginger ale, like a little bit of that like bite, but it's got some sweetness to it. It really does have that sweetness yeah. to it. Yeah, it, like, really it's got spice. That, that spice la- layer is there. Yep. And I almost get like a touch of raisin in the very yep. very back part. Yep, of my, yep, yep. Back on the very finish. Yep. But yeah, this is that great. I Absolutely totally fantastic. agree with that. Got great length too. Yeah, it's got a good hug, but it's not. It's not. It's not. It's above the collarbone, yeah, which I love. Above, yeah. I love you when you get a finish and it's good and it's smooth, but it stays above the collarbone. <laughs> you get that one that's like down in here Ooh. in your belly, and you're like, Ooh. <laughs> and I've had some stuff that does that. Believe me. So it's from your windpipe we to all? your tailpipe. <laughs> <laughs> windpipe to your tailpipe. You know that's a great saying. There's a hot sauce I bought Yikes. once that says that, and really? so that's like I've adopted. <laughs> Steer me away from one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I, if we make an old Carter that does that to you, you so do not I, do, yeah, tell you me won't. stop. I will yeah, tell you, you would never. You I, would I got never. I got a bottle of twenty three year old Canadian whiskey and it was one hundred and fifty seven point eight proof. Ooh, buddy. and it was tasty, but oh my god, it had the longest hug I've ever had, and I was like, whoa. Yeah. But uh, it's it, probably the lining of your esophagus. It was <laughs> super, super sweet. It was super tasty. But like I said, it was just so like it it, it burned all the way down. <laughs> it was like straight grain alcohol. Yeah, that was a nice cork pop there, it was Mr. Carter. <laughs> kind of heard that. I was <laughs> like, huh? you were holding back on your cork pop, and I was really hoping you were just going to go. <laughs> I, I love a cork pop. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, America. It's one of the best yeah. sounds, as Matt says. People know what we're doing. America. Bless, bless America. America. To the two two American things, you know, the crack of a baseball bat and a pop of a bourbon bottle. Love Amen, it. brother Ryan. Mm. Well, that's good. So, yeah, that one's definitely got some good heat, good legs, good everything. I mean, it's just man, candy ginger. I keep Where going spice cake. Spice cake. So see, that's where I get the raisin. Like I get a yeah. little raisin, a little bit of cinnamon, <laughs> but I really get the, the like the citrus. Like there's there's full yes. citrus coming through. Ryan said that. Yeah. A little bit of yeah. like almost like that caramel. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it it's really balanced too. And a lot of times you want to get that heat when it's balanced. And I think both of these are really you know tasty and balanced and have everything you really are looking for. And that's why we actually picked them. You know, we went. When we we, t- we actually go through a lot of barrels before we say, okay, this is the one or this this one too. I think we can right. do both of these, and they're up to what we love. Right. So about how many do you go through to pick out your single barrels? What are 50 at a time. What are you looking for? 50. What? We're looking at ba- we're looking for balance. Not, not one day. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. That would be a day. Oh uh-huh. yeah. 50 in a day? Yeah, we sure. Hey. Yeah. You must be a spitter cuz <laughs> Oh yeah, we, we, 100%. There's, there's no way we, you're going through 50 if you're we, not a spitter. <laughs> you have to. You have to otherwise you yeah. can't remember what you did. She no. takes great notes though, so that's a, a, a really a blessing for me. Right. <laughs> well, I, yeah, but thank you, honey. But as soon as you get through like, you know, tasting number 16 and that those notes become more scribbles than anything. Right. Well, not not, not only, when you spit. Not yeah. when you spit. That is true. Not when you spit. But 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 also, I will say that's the one thing that I think makes Old Carter so special is a because they came from a wine background, their tasters just seem to be more on point. Like they're mm. just grabbing notes, grabbing things, and and wine people spit right. Like I mean that you. you as a general rule, when you're tasting wines, doing those tastings, things like that, you can swish, swish, spit, you know, and kind of go through and, yeah. you know, that type of thing. So I think that in that situation, it gives you the longevity, but also it gives you the palate, right? You you get those smells, you get those flavors, you're able you to, to pull to keep all your mind on in. it. Right. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. I was going to say, I'm going to interject here. I've called many of times in the morning, and that's when you guys usually do your tastings. It's like in the morning before you've eaten, while you're awake. Before you can even have coffee, you better do a tasting. And looking out the window, we're tasting. It's like 9 a.m., and there's like 89 (laughs) glasses and like a notebook. And I'm like, you have the best freaking life. Like, I want to be you. Um, But it's very much like a spiritual, like, we're going to wake up. This is our intention for the day, and then we're going to party the rest of the night. But like, this is work. This is important. This is tasting with each other, and I like love that. So like, does you guys that, are like in bed, like drinking whiskey, living your best life <laughs> <laughs> at nine a.m. At <laughs> nine a.m. But they've probably been up forever. You guys get up pretty early, I feel, like, and then go back to bed. You know, like it's a whole. We thing. do all the things. I've crashed many of times when I cannot drive because <laughs> they're like downtown at the time, and I'm like, I'm just gonna crash in your couch. <laughs> So does the morning, is it a, hey, the morning you have the best palate? Is it the morning just, this is going to take all day, we got to start early? It's before Both. before we eat, too, and, right. you know, and get, you know, more food in it's our, ca- you know. Okay. It's called uh, Old Carter Blending slash Intermittent Fasting Plan uh, that we're on. <laughs> so it, we may start at 9 o'clock in the morning and go all the way to 4, uh, wow. just tasting and blending. Wow. Yeah, we and, literally just did that two days ago. Yeah. Yeah. And that, Sherry said we did good work, and I was very happy about that when she says that. You were happy when she told you you did good work? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like every married man. <laughs> you did good work today. Thanks. You can eat now. <laughs> you can eat now. That's exactly <laughs> and right. And I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So let's dive into 25. Yes. And see what this bad boy's bring into the table. So this is the one that's a little lighter, 116.8. 16.8 and there's only uh, 106 bottles of this that we made now are these both in the same distillery i'm just curious yes, yes. i know you're yes. not going to disclose where it came from but, but i'm just kind of curious yeah. it they are because man one was real reminiscent of one thing and this one is not good pop 24 24 really rang true to rumors because you rumors. actually never told me anything <laughs> but this one i like it would i would not peg this as what it is if, that's it, what i love we, about this lot of barrels is and, they and we really can talk are after we get off but <laughs> <laughs> but that's the beauty of these this lot um you know we um i just love the barrel to barrel um variances and then that's the beauty of of those uh the single barrel and selecting those and then the um, you know we started th- doing the um, single barrel Kentucky straight in um, about three years ago. So it's they were the twelves, uh, you know, twelve year old at that time. Yep. And then we did the thirteen, and these are fourteen years old now, and we have quite a few barrels left that we'll be keep releasing and and bottling for the next few years. Yep. Maybe even get to twenty five year old. Let's see cool? how it is. So you bought these Ooh. when you first started and these are just been kinda of sitting in the Rick House aging and marrying? Yes. Gotcha. So the nose on this thing, I mean, it's just super, super unique. You get some cherry. The cherry stands out. Yeah, the cherry is just it's it's there. That's a cherry bomb. And then um I almost get like a maple syrup. Like a I could agree with that. A little like a faint maple syrup. I get a cream. I don't know about that. You get some cream. I get cream. I, get, I, I always get cherries, look. I get cream. I I always, nose. We like looking for a little kind of a creamy, you know, spirit usually. You know, Absolutely. Got some cream mouthfeel. I pick up the, the cream, but it, it's weird. It's almost only in my left nostril. <laughs> that is weird. Caramel cream. <laughs> cream caramel. Yeah. It's almost, and not so much, car, not as much cream as it is to me marshmallow. Well, that's interesting. That is interesting. Like I, I get, I, I get where you're coming from, but to me, I, I pick up marshmallow. I get, I get this big custard smell. I don't. Maybe it's maybe it's just me. No, I, 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 I'm not saying you're wrong. Like yeah. I said, everybody's different. It's very sweet. I'll say but that. It, but in my left nostril, you get it. I get, I get something that's kind of that reminiscent, but it, it's almost like a like a marshmallow, marshmallow, like a like almost like a toasted marshmallow. It's got a great nose. It is. This is fantastic. This is like one of these there you could it literally let there it, it is. do its thing, let it sit it down, come back and just nose it, and it just keep nosing it, and nosing it, and nosing it. I'm gonna tell you a story on an outsider perspective. Sherry is like announcing the pop up. You know, they're they're announcing the pop up, and they do like a tasting notes, which I don't think you really ever do. And I call her or I ask her, I'm like, you must really like 25. She's like, no, I like them both. Why? And I'm like, I don't know the way you made like 25 sound. 
It's like you loved it. You had a love affair with 25. And she's like, no, I didn't. I love them both. <laughs> we come to the pop-up and everyone's like, we want 25. Oh, we want. 25. No 25. one's ever even tasted 24. And Mark is like, I got it. 24 right here for you. Like, <laughs> it's because the way that you, you could tell you were like, you were partial to this one. So this, this is where I said. I still love them both. Yeah, they're, I know. I said earlier, I wouldn't kick either one of them. Yeah. Both. And once you tasted both of them, you yeah. go, wow, yeah. these are both great. You know, they're just different. <laughs> they are different. I yep. said, Next time, Sherry, you gotta make both the tasting notes exactly the same, so there's no, you know, person. <laughs> That's oh, it. My tasting stuff. notes are forever yeah. done. Yeah, just duplicate that same tasting note and just put it on everything. I was really hungover <laughs> when I tried them at the pop up, but like now side by side. You really were hungover. I, was, I saw you that morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It was the worst night of my life. I was the worst or the best. Jess, Jess looked like she had been road hard and put up wet. I had been. I had a bag in the Uber <laughs> that I threw up in the bag in the Uber quietly. You so told me that story. Would not. I got here though. I got here. Thank God there was a girl named Sarah Sarah Ward who like helped, and I was like I'm Sam 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 Ward <laughs> Sam Ward, and I'm like God, I'm dying. But <laughs> the they were really best part <laughs> of the whole story. <laughs> She looked at me. She goes, "I am so hungover. I, I don't even know how I made it here so, this morning." This is this is the behind the scenes, behind the scenes. So that morning, I packed a little box because I knew that Sam and Jess were coming, and so we had I had a little bottle of champagne and some other goodies that we brought over just because that was the morning, and we had had a party the week before. And I, it was a, it was a sausage party. I got 125 sausages from Red Hog. Okay. It's as kinky, okay. It's okay. As kinky All right. as it say, sounds. I'm it is as kinky Clarity as it sounds. There. Yes, you can go there. And, and so, <laughs> in addition to our sausages, we also had um, uh, about 75 um, beautiful brioche buns, from, hot dog rolls from, from, a, from a bakery from Blue Dog. Blue Dog yeah. Bakery. Oh, Blue Dog. Yes. Okay, yeah. Shout out to our friends at both those places. Love those guys. Yeah. Frankfurt Avenue. Got to yeah. gotta go. Blue so dog, what kind of sausages hog. were they? Were Red just like different types? They were we did five different ones. Gotcha. I yeah. I couldn't rattle them off. So the Sherry's one, like, I'm having a birthday Dustin. party and I want sausages. So I'm like, Well, you think you want some bread? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so she's like, and Nutella. <laughs> so that morning I pack a a bottle of cold champagne and some glasses in a in a cardboard box. Right. And <laughs> and we had a lot of leftover buns from the party. And so to keep the glasses from rattling around, I shoved a few of these buns. Beautiful buns yeah. in oh, the box. Weak old buns. <laughs> because they were in the garage and we had a ton of them left. In abundance. And so I go in the back. I go in the back when we're, you know, the doors are open here and we're selling and <laughs> Sam and Jessica are both munching on the brioche bun. I was go- not doing very well. And I, I was like, oh, Sherry brought bread. That's so thoughtful. <laughs> they they, they held up brought- really well, though. They were great. She I, was, we I, gave I, one to Matt's baby. I, Matt brought his baby. Oh, my God. Which, Matt which baby? The newborn baby? baby? The newborn the, baby. No, no, no. Matt no, brought, no, his, he brought his daughter. That's right. Matt okay. brought his daughter. Matt, on this podcast, brought his daughter. I'm like, I'm getting that baby. And I brought her in here. I'm like, do you want bread? <laughs> she was Aunt like, Sherry brought you bread. Aunt Sherry brought you bread. <laughs> and she was eating the bread. Like, she... She was very warm. That was her first whiskey pop-up. That was so cute. Anyway, <laughs> love Blue Dog, love Start Red Dog. And it goes, they, they go very well. Their sausages go very well with Old Carter. <laughs> so it's one of those funny things. I, I don't remember who it is, but there's, and I think they're pretty prominent to the Louisville market in general. It's called like Wolf's Wieners or Sausages. But like, dude, my uh, aunt and uncle used to buy those things by like the dozens and dozens and we would have massive cookouts but I was like it's looking pretty good but it obviously didn't have a blue dog baker he didn't you know roll with it or <laughs> bun yeah. so it's good it was a good party though so 25 back to 25 back to 25 yeah. <laughs> man I, that was a good I, I will say if I'm if between the two, I, I think I'm partial to actually 24. Like, yeah. it, it, I think it, I am too. Uh, Honestly, <laughs> funny. thank God I and, traded and 25. 25 is great, <laughs> but I do really like that that creamy, like orange, like citrus, you know, caramel bomb that that first one had. It's it's interesting, you know, just how you know when you do tasting notes to somebody and they really you know kind of climb onto it. Uh, you know, that's what they're going to go to. So it, it's always hard when you do tasting notes yeah. before you have the actually drink it. Right. Because you've already suggested what it's going to be to that person. Right. I mean, I think 
uh, the you know whiskey can fall into ca- camps, right? It's right. either it's a spicy camp or it's a sweet classic camp or it's a exotic camp. Right. But I can't tell you what something tastes like that it might not translate to you. No, absolutely not. So yeah. I, you know I, I I love it when people reach out. Well, I have the opportunity to buy this or that or you know whatever. And what should I get? It's like what do you like? Right. You know. Well, I also tie bourbon to memories, right? Oh, 100%. Like, uh, so, Same with wine. And it's so, your memories. Yeah. Right. And it, it is. <laughs> it, and your memories can be different. Like, Absolutely. Like, I might smell book, like leather-bound books, like an old library smell or something like that. And it might be your grandma's house. You know, it could be yeah. all kinds of different aspects that kind of tie into those things. And like, oh, I get this and this. And, and people don't understand that aspect of it. Did you know I wrote a book, Scott? No, I didn't. <laughs> I wrote a book, and it's called Daily Decadence. Daily decadence. Yes. Can I untether and go get it? Can Absolutely. Can okay. I pick the page you read, though? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I don't need to read it, but it has it has a whole bunch there's of... Some, there's I'll short it. stories, it's actually. It's very so. um, short softcore love. <laughs> it's a romance novel? It's, um, it's her, a, her, her, hers and Mark's love. <laughs> well, the crazy every, part well, is it's, it's a, all a, recipes. There's 60 recipes in there. She's like, really? why are you That's taking funny. a sip of wine and your lover is laying there? And I'm like, yes, if I had a lover, this would be the life <laughs> and then there's um uh, with this one it was almost all uh wine uh tasting notes but she needs to do another book um, i i try to yeah. keep her busy as possible yeah <laughs> she did want to write a book during covid remember she lost her sense of smell and taste for like three days and she's like i'm gonna write a book about smell and taste i'm like sherry it's been three days <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so you, i said it will come back it will come back i she's like, Day two, I'm like, you're fine. So did you try the orange, like the, the toasted orange with like whatever trick that supposedly works? Like you take brown sugar, put it on an orange, and then kind of toast it in a skillet, and then you eat it? No. Okay. I should, we should try that though always, you but know. But it sounds interesting. They said it's supposed to help with, because of the citrus and the sweet and the, and then the char from that kind of helps yeah. bring no, your palate I, back. I was good. I did, I did my sensory training and it was, I was like, I blinded myself on, on 20 cents and I got uh, But you learned 16. so much about smell and taste that week. Yes. She was like, yeah. I'm going to take these vitamins and these shots. Like this is what <laughs> helps your smell. I learned like, it was like a science experiment. I'm like, I never knew that you needed to train your palate. They really do work really freaking hard but you do it all before like 11 a.m you know <laughs> well, and like, then you chill <laughs> jessica had a really good idea she was going through the spice cabinet you know with all the <laughs> herbs and spices and you know says this what do you call that when you have that you know uh kind of those those smells through the you know your spice cabinet you had sensory, a, training. sensory training sensory yeah it was some other <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Some redneck word. I'm, I'm just smelling them. Is that deal? <laughs> so this book, as you're, you know, speaking about the wine background. Right. So this, this really uh, does, that was for you. These are for you guys. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, and awesome. for you. Thank and you. your wives. Yeah. And yes. You will appreciate it. Read it together. Read it together. Read it together. Uh, before, right. bed. <clears throat> before bed. Before bed. Or read it by the bedside. Can you, can you do an audio book? Oh, oh my God! I want to hear. Yes. I want to hear, hear Sherry record this. That'd be well, fun. That, you yeah, can record. That would be great. Too. Will you help me, Scott? Because I, I don't I've know got the equipment. All you got to do is just we we just set it up. I'll come over and so let you. Cool. I don't think you can just, record it because Sherry's like better in person, and her like eyes are like lighting up, and she's like, I can just like see. But, like, but I could see her. Call reading me in that a week way, when you read this book. Like I, I could really see Sherry reading that way though, like really reading like the the passion that comes through on it. So I say, if you ever do an audio book of this, make sure you're the one reading it. Because it means more. It does mean more. It does. And you also get like, you get your little quirks in there. It kind of just kind of brings, I, I like it when authors read their own books because they know what they're talking about when Absolutely. they're reading. Absolutely. And they read it in a, in a fashion that well, there, there's someone also, else who's paid to do it. There's also do. like an iambic pentameter that goes along with that, sure. right? Like, a, like the, you know how you want it to flow. Yes. You know how you want it to be said and, and it makes more sense that right. way. Right. So the only reason I brought this up is because within that book, there are at least 60 tasting notes, wine tasting notes. After every recipe, there's a wine pairing and a my crazy tasting notes. Gotcha. So I don't know if you breeze through any of those, but they're pretty wild. No, I did not. I did not <laughs> breeze through the tasting notes. Pick, so pick maybe a, I should try to page. figure. Pick a page. There's a lot of. Uh, there's one. I, I like the wedding gown. 
That was, I don't know if that one made it in the book. <laughs> this wine smells like a wedding dress. So what? here it is on page uh, 181. My perfect pairing, Carter Sellers, Coliseum Block Cabernet Sauvignon. From my notes, deep, deep, deep as Henry's heart. I absolutely love this wine. A sumptuous balance of red velvet wedding cake, candied jasmine, and lush fruit glides over my tongue. Wow. Yeah. If that isn't a description. Yeah. See, it only so you candied can jasmine. That. I don't I don't know that I've ever heard somebody pick up candied jasmine. So is that so there's got to be a memory attached to that. So I I'm, I'm diverting here. So w- w- where does the the memory of candied jasmine come from? Well, you, you? <clears throat> you inadvertently picked up a tasting mm. note that is extremely um emotional for me. Oh. Obviously. Yeah. I know I could see a little yeah. Mark was like, "Ooh." <laughs> so <laughs> that was one of the first wines we ever made was uh the um, 98 Hosfeld Coliseum and Henry who planted the vineyard, he has passed away. And that's probably, you know, uh, it's very close to our hearts and, you know, getting started making wine back in 98, you know, it's a lot of memories there. Yeah. And it's a great vineyard and it's spectacular. And the people, uh, the uh, actually his family still runs the vineyard. He has three daughters that, uh, uh, have taken over uh, since he passed away, right. and that they even have their own brand now. So well, they're, that's, they're doing a great job. So that's the good thing, right? Like at least they've been able to patch it on and yeah. and carry forward with, with Henry's legacy. So I mean, you but know, where did the candy jasmine come? Was yeah. that a t- we're going to find that out. <laughs> we, we're going to have to wait a few minutes. Sherry, Sherry's, <laughs> yeah. Sherry's out of commission. She's still she's she's amongst herself. She, she, she's still <laughs> a little, little, for close. little little choked up. That's there. right. Yeah. Oh. We we are in Sherry's feelings <laughs> journal right now, which is okay. And I'm really sorry. I literally. Grab the one thing that, like, oh, <laughs> that was a universe. That's fine. It was, it That's was. good. It was the it's universe good. talking to it's us. It's a good sure. thing. You the, know, the crazy part too, Scott, is there's not that many Carter Seller in wines the book. in that book. Right. It's there mostly. Might be, it, there might be 61 two. Latour in that book or something right. like and that. You know? And you picked that one. That I mean, literally, I literally just turned to that page <laughs> that randomly. That gives me cultural. It does. It really does. That's very cool. So, we'll I'll have to read through it because I'm 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 excited now because I know that it meant that much to you so oh, now we, I think I'm going to cry <laughs> <laughs> everybody's getting all up in their feelings general so, now. something to lighten the mood Sherry yes sir from I don't know when this picture was taken but you have not aged a day oh. well thank you <laughs> sir. You're, you're welcome well, that was the hair has changed but yeah. I can lighten the mood back to 25 batch 25 Mark saying no one would show up at the release Mark was like no one's going to show up I didn't know if anybody no would you, know? you really didn't think anybody he was going to really show didn't up think well we was didn't show give up. it much time it was 5 o'clock on Thanksgiving and we we're going to open like, it 10, 10 o'clock the next day so, you know, I said how are they going to know I was here at 8 30 <laughs> anyway, and I wasn't even and I wasn't even anywhere near the front of the line I was like 40th in line and I was here like 8 30 in the morning <laughs> You and we were just sitting out here. We were waiting. We were talking. It, it, and I probably would have been a little sooner, but then I saw that there wasn't a massive crowd at that point. And I was like, all right, I'm going to sit in my car and just stay a little warm. Because it was it, cold. It was cold that day, <laughs> for so sure. Cold. It was so cold. I was so glad it wasn't raining. So yeah. I was sitting over there in my car, and uh, me and uh, Josh, Josh, which does the podcast, he's not actually been able to meet you guys yet. So I, I've got to get him out here to, to talk with you guys for sure. But uh, we were just sitting there. We're like, all right, we can't wait for them to open. We're just excited. And we're like, what are they going to do? And they're like, we're reading the tasting notes. We're doing all that <laughs> stuff. And then once the line got long enough, I was like, all right, I don't know if they're going to allow one only or is it going to be what? And then so we get in line and we're sitting there and we're talking. And then that's when Jess shows up and she says, you know. In my Uber. <laughs> she's like, I got my puke bag over here. <laughs> so, I was here. Oh. Lighten up the mood. Right. Right. So. We're here. And I bread. had taken a Finnegan and I was still throwing up. And, and I'm like, God. Bread was on the way. Oh. Yeah, bread. <laughs> Mark and Sherry were on the way, and I'm like, I'm going to be there. <laughs> so, so we uh, we small also, batches. We got these small batches. We we actually have four of them that we got sitting out here. Who uh, else? We did actually seven uh, very small batches, which are three barrel blends. All all of them, which we were, okay, we figured, three barrel blends. Yep, all seven of them in there. Each one was uh, totally different, uh, and. Uh, for each region and each distributor that we have, we have six distributors throughout the United States. And we did one for ourselves that we can do right out of the front door again. 
Uh, we are going to be doing upstairs. We've been working on uh, doing a, a what we call the uh, Old Carter Social Club. Which, by the way, was unlocked when I got here. Yes. They, they, they were, were, no, they were, they're up there working. Oh, there's, okay. there's some guys <laughs> working the up there. That was the first. I've walked in that's that door. That's the wood I'm like, shop. Oh, wood shop. <laughs> so... Uh, we're uh, we're working really hard. Hopefully, uh, next month or so, we'll be done with the upstairs over the top of our showroom here. And uh, the social club is where uh, you can just join for a hundred bucks a month. You get a locker and everything that we turn out of here that we do not send to the distributors. Uh, you'll be able to buy and put it in your locker, and you can come by and uh, it'll look just like these show this showroom here. There'll be two upstairs. And uh, you can bring uh, up to four people with you and sit down and do exactly what we're doing right now, uh, sharing uh, with the community. So we're going to start off with New York, New Jersey, and then we're going to move to number one OC. So that way everybody's on the same page here and we'll pass these bad boys around. So I'm curious... With the naming of these bottles, so you have, they're all named after cities, correct? Yeah, and the distributors. The distributors, so. distributors pick them. Okay, so is they that... They send them samples, and they pick from the samples, right? That like is correct. They're all pick, but okay. for distributors. Okay. Yes. Which city got first pick? Oh. I don't remember. You know, I think um, it, it was pretty close. We sent out to three different ones at the so same we time. So did, we did the blends, mm-hmm. and then they got samples of the blends. So they didn't do the, they didn't actually do the blend. Oh, okay. Um, so they got they got to pick from the blend. Sorry, I'm all yeah. <laughs> still Tammy worked Jasmine, up. Do you want to talk about it? I'm still like <laughs> getting over it. Henry's okay. heart when over you're here. When you're ready, we're mm. here. That's right. Candy Jasmine to me. I mean, that's a wine note, but. Is it? I mean, to me, oh, yeah, it's that. So it's I, floral. It's sweet. It's so that's what I was going to say. For me, uh, I, I don't know what jasmine like. I, I know what a jasmine smells like, but like I'm trying to tie the candy into that. Sorry, so, you know, so I just I don't know. Vision. My brain works strange. I mean, just we were smelling perfume we were smelling earlier perfume before we came, and like listening she, to her smell perfume, she's like, "This smells like corduroy." <laughs> <laughs> This is like fresh and bright, like the sea, and you wear it during spring. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Right. I got to say, crazy. I know what corduroy feels like. Oh, I know. I'm, Did you ever read that book, Corduroy with the, the Bears? Corduroy the with the Bears? We're distracting as the door is being open. The, the door is yeah. knocking. <laughs> so I mean, we, we said it was 105, so now people are going to be knocking at the door. Right. <laughs> Look, we had no oh, it's idea. Eddie. It's their man. It's, it's the maintenance guy or <laughs> it's the, the builder. It, it's the he's contractor. Contractor. But he's the everything. Hey, he's Eddie. the everything man. <laughs> he's he's great. He's amazing. <laughs> the, like the Carters, like collect people. Like you're like, oh, you're technically the contractor, but really you're like everywhere all the time. Right. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with collecting people. No. I think that's what makes that's community. That's right, exactly. Yeah. You, you build it. You build your fellowship and your community around your people. And you know, when you build a great team and you build a great community, that's how you make great business and and make a great product. You Relationships. Know, it's all tied. Relationships cr- make the world go round. Yeah. Thank you, Scott. Well, no really more is. crying. We're done crying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. That's what it's all about. You know. I mean, e- even in the in, in in my world, right? I'm a banker. I, I do commercial lending, like. I've built relationships over the last 20 years of lending money to people that want to buy commercial buildings or they want to buy an apartment complex or they want to do things like that. And, and that's where that's come from. You know, it's just years and years of, you know, building that relationship and staying to it. So, so everybody has the, um, this is the New York, New Jersey one, I think. Yeah, correct. We're all on the same page. I feel so privileged to try these. Yeah. A lot of these haven't, that's, this hasn't even been released yet. I love this. Yeah, you know, because... Sorry, uh, I'm trying to take a selfie, and he's We're taking excited. a prop, which is yeah. the model. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were taking a selfie. <laughs> just okay. taking her selfie. Just trying to she just takes the best selfies. Just trying too. to do Instagram things. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's coming in at 116.2, and it looks like there were 498 bottles. So it's not very many. That is a small batch. It's a very small batch. Three, so... Yeah. So what are you getting on this one? I'm going I'm to I'm let Mark take the lead on this one. Uh, again, this, you know, I like... Um, when, anytime I can smell a little bit of, I'm a carpenter, so when I smell like good oak and you know uh, barrels in a, a bourbon, uh, I, I get excited. And right. So I, you know, and especially if it's got a little toast to it, and you know we do a lot of finishing, and all the barrels we've used since the beginning uh, have been you know uh, very old, air dried, thirty six months. 
uh, all, all of them had toasted heads, so there have always been toasted oak barrels right? Um, with different char levels. And, uh, you know, I get excited because I can smell the difference in a lot of times in the char level. Yeah. What yeah. do you mean by finishing? He said you do a lot of finishing. That's well, new. F- no, not with he your He means double oaking. Double, double okay, oaking. yeah. Let's, yeah. like, because right. you don't know, do a lot. I'm like, okay. Yeah. We, so we only I'm, use American oak at this point, but right. we always say never say you never. never. Because people always ask, are you ever going to, you know, finish they something ask. in one of your wine barrels? So that's what so I, I, I sell <laughs> wine barrels. I sell wine barrels. And I'm like, Mark, why would you, you're a winemaker. Why would you not put it? And he was like, mm, yeah. leave it, leave it be. And I'm like, yeah. 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 Because I, I will tell you, I, I I've had one really really good bourbon this year that was finished in a cab barrel, and I was like, oh, so I could I could definitely see you know, and you could do something it has younger. Has to be the in right that, marriage. Right? That's right. It has to be the right marriage. It has yeah. to be the right bourbon. But we've been. You wouldn't want to put your twelve year old or your fourteen year old bourbon in there. I don't think it would have to a be a young, four or five something. Year no, yes. and we yeah. really like to stay in the range of you know more mature right. juice. Yeah. So, right. so on this one for me, I get all right. You guys know those. Um, like Turkish apricots, dried apricots that are soaked in tea. Oh, I love those. So I get that, but it's dipped in chocolate. Hmm. You got away with words. She right? does. She really does. Right? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. That's why she I'll does. The, that. That's why she does the tasty <laughs> notes. So <laughs> Mark's like, that's why she good. writes the notes. I immediately got the tea, like some, of the, and it's almost like an Earl Grey tea. Like a I little, would call this. She gets me going every time she talks about t- tasty notes. Hey, notes. Daddy. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. We're done. Hey, Daddy. Cut us off. <laughs> So, this one, when we were talking about camps earlier, <laughs> um, this to me would lean towards a little bit of that exotic, you know, that little bit of that, it's a little more peripheral. It's a lot less straightforward. I love this blend. Yeah. No, so, this these, were, good. these were really fun to put together. Um, first time we've done this, three barrels for each one, no more, no less. And uh, it was just a wonderful way for us to do something special for each of our uh, distributors out there because they take great care of us. And um, I love that they're all different, as you guys will see. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was, and we bottled all of them right here. Right. Yeah. So I'm getting a little bit of baking spice in there, like maybe like mm-hmm. a little clove or. I agree. I'm getting. Oh. It has a great upfront taste. I get a lot of pepper. I get a lot of pepper in yeah. there. I also. Now, would you say it's white pepper or black pepper? Because I'm getting more of a white pepper. I get the white pepper too. <laughs> yeah. Don't get me going yeah, on the white, white pepper. pepper yeah. <laughs> I got schooled on white pepper once at a wine thing. Will you school <laughs> us, please? What is she? He? She? So um, I get a lot of floral in this one too. By the way. Yeah. It does have a little. It, it does leans, have some. That's I. That would be in my exotic yeah, camp. Exotic would be floral. But uh, so sherry, uh, one little white pepper thing yeah. you know, give me, goes give back a hundred years. Give me, give me some sherry me. words. I want, I want the floral. I want. The but floral we were, we're learning about white pepper. Oh, that's okay. touche. Yeah. So answer mine after this. So we have a, a guy working at the restaurant and hotel that I have up in Eureka, and his name's Tom, Tom Burke. And uh, so Tom uh, becomes a master psalm when he's working at the, the hotel, and uh, he actually uh, showed sherry. It was a, a syrah. Uh, you yes. know, uh, something from the Rhone region. So and we, we would do these blind, t- not they weren't blind either. They were regular some, wine tastings yeah. on Wednesday nights. Yeah, wine on Wednesday. So wow. we're sitting around and we're drinking wine and I have a very opinion, you know, strong opinion of this wine and it's got white pepper. Because to me, in my mind, white pepper is this high note, it's a pepper note, but it's a higher pepper note, not a dark, deep pepper note. It's a, higher it's fluffy it's fluffy yes. pepper and, and straw and usually so, has a, a lot of pepper notes in it or and bacon. so i'm insisting that it's white pepper and tom burke in all of his sommelier glory said <laughs> he's a big deal isn't he he's a big deal yeah he's he's, he's up there yeah he, he's yeah yeah he's yeah. a big deal he and he goes uh, he now. wasn't then yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't then he but was, he, was he was throwing his then. weight around and he said so you think you know what white pepper smells like i'm like well I think I do. And he goes, well, Sherry, it smells like horse's ass. <laughs> You're like, I happen to love horses, and I would get up on their ass <laughs> <Yes>. right now. <laughs> so he goes into the kitchen, and he brings out white pepper, and he goes, smell this. And it was earthier than my <laughs> regular like mushroom pepper. Earth. Right. 
<laughs> it is an earthier flavor. It was an earth it was an earthier pepper. And so I was ex- I was I w- I'm a student. I love to learn. Right. And I learned and I said, "All right. All right, you're right. It is it is not, you know, what my my mind was translating hmm. right. my smell from. Mm. What was your smell? What would have been that smell? What's lighter than pepper? Just pepper, but not like a deep, dark pepper. Right. But what? He- light pepper? Yes. <laughs> so, so heavy on the pepper? White pepper. White light pepper. pepper. Light pepper. Like light yes, pepper. but black like, pepper, but lighter. Right. So you only used like one turn instead of... <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's funny how people will have to show off right like he was, or, yeah. or maybe he was trying to like educate her and maybe he, so like, i knew i, like, I got brought I, it for you i gotta believe that, that, that that's a little that not helpful that's a little bit helpful. overly showmanship in my opinion but <laughs> maybe was, maybe yeah, not. but now you can like that's helpful absolutely as i said so, i'm a student i like to, yeah, i like, like to learn right i have no problem learning your approach Tom. no 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 oh it was fine <laughs> but just it's, a it's mark, like me with we didn't even need to talk about this it's no, like me I, with blueberry. Like I, I always, when people say I taste blueberries, I'm like, that's bullshit because nobody can taste blueberries because blueberries aren't really a scent or anything. They like are. That. Blueberries oh, have a taste. Are, I they, love blueberries. Are. I have frozen blueberries in my water every single day. They I can are, pick out a blueberry. And you can taste them, but like I've never tasted it in bourbon. Like I've tried oh, it. I've tried I, a million blue different fruit. bourbons. I don't try. <laughs> now in wine, you can definitely get blue fruit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's Currents, a total. Yeah. No, a that's a total. Currants and blueberries. What's currants? Raspberries. Yeah. Strawberries. Yep. Those Depending on what varietal. Is, is that more is that more of a white? Mm-mm. Is that a red? Oh, red. 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 Is, yeah. yeah. It'd be a dark red too. What's typically. blue fruit? Yeah, blue, yeah, fruit is blue fruit is red uh, wine. Usually uh, you can have uh, a lot of blue fruit on valley floor. Um, you get more intense uh, you know fruits, um, berry fruits on hillsides. One of the things with wine I is when this. you smell it, it go, you go blue, red, or dark right. fruit. Like it, that's a category thing, oh, right? Yeah. So, so we're getting educated. This is becoming yeah. wine tasting, no, 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 which is okay. Tasting just, notes. Okay, here's what I will say. <laughs> but that's like, what makes you guys special, yeah, wine right? Is fascinating it is the fact that I feel like your wine background is what ties into the bourbon so well, right? I mean, I, I can I, I, agree. I can say that's my opinion. Now maybe I'm wrong. That's why my book is called The Art of Sensual Living. Mm. <laughs> So I will say that my boss, when I first started, was like, I was like, I'm hanging out with the Carters, hanging out with the Carters. And he was like, you know, you have to work at some point. (laughs) And I was so offended. I was like, do you know who the Carters are? They are like the only people that have been able to translate like Napa Valley into Kentucky. And for you to like even like question that is insulting to me. Because if you can take like, I really did. I went off like we have a very tumultuous relationship, but respect at the end of the day. But I'm like. To even be around you guys on like what you understand like wine way and like how you're translating like centuries of history of wine tasting into the bourbon community, which is not that old, is like an art form and it should be like listened to and like written down. Like the talks about fruit and stuff, like that's huge. It's like, okay, what color? Like we don't have bourbon, we're like, my grandmother's closet. Like we don't fucking know. We're just gonna like make up something. We're in Kentucky, we're just drinking. There like, we go. St- there steer is- me away from grandmother's closet bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I've had some dusties and I'm like a cedar chest yeah. with an old well, baby doll that was yeah. a rubber I'll take baby that. doll. I'll take a cedar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's totally legit. Yes. Yes. I, I don't want dust. Yeah. Yeah. I do like a little I like earth. I'm very so, much like wild know. turkey, like the earth <laughs> notes, it's mushroom. I like love those notes. So to me, that's what that had. It had a little bit of that earthiness. That's the reason I grabbed that, you know. I was like, oh yeah, like white pepper versus black pepper. Like mm-hmm. it's got some, yeah. it's got spice, yeah. but it's yeah. got some earthiness, earthiness that goes with it. Yeah. So I agree. I agree. What, which one do you think should go next? O- OC? We're on OC Let's one. Do OC. OC one. Okay. OC one, and then I'm going to grab this one, and this is going to be the one after OC. It's going to be uh, DC after OC. OC is the. When we say OC, are we talking Orange County? Or are we talking, We're talking Oklahoma City? Old Carter. Carter. It's going to be a really Carter. Carter. This is our old Carter. This will so be this a pop is, up here. This All is, right. This is our. Thank you, hey. husband. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite the heavy Who has pour. The heavy hand now. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, I will say, Brian, would you I like love some? it when uh, <laughs> Mark pours. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm the heavy pour. Sherry can stretch a, a bottle to 120 people. 
she did oh. say that. <laughs> she was like, okay, at the tasting, we do the pop up at 24 and 25. I'm going to pour. I'm really good at it. Mark will just like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. I oh, got oh. <laughs> I got a heavy hand too. I remember the first podcast I did with this guy over here in. I'm pretty sure Matt looked at me and went, you're not going to last long, are you, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I think we tasted just, like six bottles that day. Oh, like the first pouring. Oh, no. I was like, whoa. No, no we, did, we did three podcasts that day. Oh, we did. Well, yeah, so six or seven bottles probably. Yeah. Oh, Maybe eight. I, but, think, I, think yeah. We, I think we stretched it way further yeah. than that. Maybe so. It but. was a good night. <laughs> I had to stick around extra because I couldn't drive. So, OC. So, yeah. did, did one of you... In particular, pick this one or no? No, all of these VSBs, very small batches, were put together by both of us. Yep. Total collaboration. So this one's got a little earthiness to it too. You get some leather, some oak. You get a lot of sweetness on it. I get sweetness yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. that's what uh, I'm getting. How about s'more sitting on a saddle? <laughs> s'more sitting on the a woman of my heart right now. Wednesday. Tell us how that Thursday. Tell us, Thursday. Yeah, tell I, us I could definitely get that. I, I was going to say I get a little bit of marshmallow. I think I was you need to go back and write I another get graham book. Cracker. But you get graham All cracker. Over I agree. This, baby. Write write another book. You got away with words. It's time. I got to get her oh. freed up so she can do that. Wait, which one was this? This what was this? OC. The that OC. Mean? What's that go to? That's that's our own old Carter. old Carter. <laughs> Your distillate? No, no. Not yet. no. This yeah, is our. Um, we got this is our VSB. Yeah. This that is the one they're going to sell here. Yeah. This is so good. It Thank is. you. It's delicious. Thank you. I just got really like. Jessica's I love it. Yeah, she doesn't know what it is, and she says this is really good. I'm like, wait, what is this? I just get really excited. I'm sorry. She, I'm, she, I'm happy with this too. I really am. Yeah, she's yeah. been taking selfies. She got lost for her first second. I was like, this is so good. This is good. I'm going back in for the graham cracker. This is so yeah, good. you get some of that graham you cracker sweetness. This. You would pick yeah. this. Honey <laughs> graham, though. That's yeah. what I get. I get, yeah. I get honey. honey. Yeah. That yeah. is it. That's yeah. it for me. I, I was trying to figure out this whole time. I've been sniffing this. There's a secondary sugar in there, and yeah. I was trying to figure out what it was. Yeah, it's just a sweet it's honey. honey. Candy yeah. jasmine. Honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. Um, what, how old is this? So, yeah, everything. are these like a blend of like six, seven, and eight-year-olds, or are they 10, 12? That's a good question. These are all seven and nine. Seven yeah. and nine. Seven, eight, nines. And you're going to sell them here all of them This is part of the locker program. This will be... This could go to the locker this program. This could yes. go to the locker yeah. program. Or just Definitely. here. It, it will be a wink, released wink. here. Yeah. When, within a week? No, not within a week. Wink. 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 <laughs> I was like, you don't have your, you have to get like, they have to get like their license. You, you have no, to, no, like, we're all, yeah. no, we're all That's good all to happened. sell right up. <gasps> yeah. The only thing we don't have for the old carter social club is our kind of with the state our um llc i think for the, non, that yes because i was just gonna put this on to i wanted to take a picture and be like available oh yeah yeah you wink, can take wink. a picture Again. coming soon coming soon you should if you want it. details email j j a y poor j <laughs> at old carter whiskey co.com yes this so my, my question and i'm sure people are going to ask and and I, that way, Jay's not completely bombarded. So I know y'all mentioned it was like a hundred dollars a month or something like that. Yes. Now, so does that go towards the price of future barrels or future bottles? Like, because I know some places, like when you pay that fee, it goes towards the purchase of another bottle. So our club is going to be a membership club. The way we have to set it up with 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 the basically the the nonprofit. Yeah, with the state. Is okay, those so are it's tied to a nonprofit. Yes, it's tied to a nonprofit. So that is a that is a membership fee that you pay per month, and it's an annual contract, and that will give you access to the club. So you can use the club by appointment. You can bring some friends. Um, that will give you a locker. You can put anything you want there. It doesn't have to be old Carter. It could be anything you want. And what it will also do is you'll be on the list to receive emails when we have something released. You'll get the email. Hey, we have this. If you would like it, let us know or go and purchase it on the website and we will take your bottles and put them in your locker. Gotcha. And then you can uh, have somebody and pick them up. There's also, you don't have to purchase. So if you don't want anything, yeah. you don't have to get anything. Why would they not purchase? Well, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there are no minimum. Silliness. It's not like there's a minimum yeah. purchase requirement. Right. Is there a maximum? No. Well, that's a really good question, <laughs> Ryan, actually. Well, yeah, whatever your wife says. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> On our side, 
um, you know, it's going to be, it'll be tied to whatever the release is. So if it's a single barrel and we only have 100 bottles or whatever. Limited to a person. Then it'll, yeah. It might even have to go into kind of a lottery even for that. So oh, that's wow. kind of fair. You know, or maybe it's first come, first serve. I, I don't yeah. know for sure. Yeah. Trial so on my lips chapter, has this got a little bite on the front side? On the OC? Yeah. I don't get any bite. It, I, I'm getting something like on the front of my lips, and it might be that my, maybe my lips are a little I think, than I didn't realize I think it. it feels a little warmer because the wood's not there as much in the, you know. Um, like a red hot cinnamon? Yeah. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. I get the red hot cinnamon. But it's also got like a tingle, almost like a little, 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 little bite right on the right on the tip of my lip and on the inside of my lip. Hmm. Not in a bad way. Just Mm-mm. it's just that's what I said. Is it just me? It might be like like I said, I might have chapped lip or something. I don't realize it. So yeah, it has been cold all week. So well, I had scraped the back of my with a inside cracker. of my mouth with a cracker the other day, and our four hour no, not four hour, oh. our seven hour. Tasting, tasting event Ca- cauterized completely it. cauterized it and I'm healed there you go <laughs> can I just Ca- say cauterized <laughs> it <laughs> Mark said that cauterized it oh, what sorry. are we talking about New Zealand wine didn't New Zealand wine do something to you too yes it's a v-shade my throat so, okay I was gonna say there's high some, acid wines I, from I just want to say that I want to have a day with a seven hour tasting <laughs> that's what I want to no, do no day drinking is like hard work yeah yeah we I, were spitting sounds like great work Ryan I'm in, I'm, we in, were I'm in for it I can tell you that but I'm not a spitter so. <laughs> that would be my only downfall yeah I don't, okay I don't have the <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for the fortitude fortitude <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna leave I the testicular couldn't. word out, but right. testicular fortitude to handle that one there all day. Is. There it is, right there. <laughs> Nailed it. The longevity. Yeah, I think yeah. I had the longevity. I just don't think I have the. Listen, your nose would be awful after about oh. the fifteenth one. Oh right. I remember but doing a barrel like, pick one I time. Just want a nap. We had I would like, be happy. I would be happy. All right. Mm. So I I really like the OC. I think this is this is amazing. Like I said, a little cinnamon. Do you like it? Some, yeah, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Uh, I, I like it better than the the New York. So, but we're, we're getting ready to try the DC, and then yeah. we'll go into. I there. tried the DC earlier. You tried the DC earlier when I took it to the people next door at Justin's. Don't spoil it for us. <laughs> when I, I took like it, to it, it. it, I took I it like to it the it people. Lot. Jessica said, "I took it to the people." They were there. They needed a drink. Everybody needs a drink. They Everybody thirsty. needs O'Carter. They were thirsty. Jessica's a problem solver. That was you guys. You're like taking them out. There were people at Justin's House Suburban and people who come there. It's a destination. It's not like they just wander in the door. No one's going to be hanging out in the White Castle side street. Okay. <laughs> they <Except> are me. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. I remember the Carters bought this building. There's a dance club called Barbarella right across. The, I'm like, that's right, where right. I, that's where I dance at. That's a great place to be. <laughs> 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 anyway, um, people who come to like, Justin's house of bourbon are like bourbon lovers. So like I always like to go in there and say hello. And they were like, what's his old Carter? I'm like, let me tell you a story. So I come back in here and they're like, take them some. And I like, I've never seen people so happy and appreciative of like, just bringing a bottle of whiskey and be like, try this, you know? Like it was great and it was good. I was like, holy shit. I think this is better than the Kentucky well, release. It, I'm not going to say that out loud, but I just did and it's recorded. It's better than a Kentucky I release. Think, I think people are going to fight over which one's the best. Now yeah. Because, right. You know, Mark is like a problem solver. Yeah. <laughs> it, like, they're it was, all great. It's kind of interesting because the actual distributor, we sent them three uh, kind of samples of blends we did that we loved all of them and they picked the one they liked the best. Right. So. It's uh, so was up they, to, it did, was up to the distributor to pick. For did them. they happen to get all these blends and they were just trying them and then like after New York picked theirs, like everybody else was just SOL? I was about was to was say, it? was there any fights? No, no I, we, I we didn't set them all down together. There would have been a fight, I'm, yeah, sure. I'm sure. There yeah. would have yeah. been. No, we, 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 we gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't want to fight, so we sent we're different lovers. things to everyone. <laughs> Look at Good. that, smart, smart people. That's why, they, that's why the Carters yeah. are so cool. All right, so we're going to uh, D.C. DC. We're lovers, not fighters. Washington, D.C., no. Yeah, and they, they do Maryland, too, so it's a great distributor. Oh, yeah, them. absolutely. We you love Maryland and D.C.? Yeah. This is part of me I didn't smell before I tasted, but, man, does it taste like butter. And it's good. It's a buttery? It is yeah. buttery. I love, is good. We, I love that you picked that up. Mm-hmm. I'm just looking at the legs on this bad boy. I mean, it's hanging. It is all over the place. 
So the, it is. So yeah. if people are listening, I don't know what you're picking up the music? local radio station yeah. or something. Yeah. I, I have no idea. The whole time I, I turned off my like spot. I'm like, <laughs> well, it was you, <laughs> but it wasn't. <laughs> No, it, it, it's literally, we've picked up some kind of radio station. This happened once before when we were down, uh, we were doing a podcast at a buddy of mine's house and all down on, next to uh, UofL. And for some strange reason, like, we could hear music the whole time. And I'm like, meh. A little uh, background. Have a little background. That's right. Nothing wrong with it. We're, we, it's a Muzak because nobody can really hear it. But it's like a, it's like here. Like there's like a, a muse, it's like song. Do you hear it? Yeah. 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 You can't hear any words. I can only hear the, the yeah. kind of the beat. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. Um, so the nose on this, I'm, I'm, and maybe it's that I'm a, a little behind here, but I'm getting some oak, I'm getting some sweetness. I'm, I'm, getting some, I'm getting some banana on the smell on the nose. Banana? Do you not get banana? I'm not saying I don't. I'm just I'm I'm, I'm trying to pick it up. That is an, that's an interesting note for me because when I get it, it's so strong. The banana or the butter. Banana. Oh, banana. I don't get banana on this. Yeah, I don't. But when I get banana, it's more of that like, like, can like like a candy banana. So not a candy jasmine. Right. Maybe Sorry. Like a like, like a taffy literally banana. like a taffy. Yeah. 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 Or so, banana fosters. So, so when I get ban- so and so I ba- don't I don't get that on. I, I get a touch of banana. What he's saying, but to me, it's almost like banana nut bread. Bread. Like yeah, it's like yeah. Yes. Maybe that's so what I'm it's like that. wrapped in. Yeah. So there's some spice that's built yes. in behind it, and you can kind of get the sweetness that you would pick up from banana, but. So I haven't even tried it yet. So I'm gonna I'm gonna dive in here and try it. And I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let Ryan. So butter and what else you got, Ryan? Butter and oak. It is a good pour. It is a really good pour. Oh, thank you. Yeah, butter. I get butter oak. That's a little oak. those are the two things I get big. So I'm I'm getting some pepper. A little, a little spice. Bit, a little spice. There's some sweetness coming through too. I'm trying to pick up what that is. You know, um, since a lot of people haven't had some of these because they weren't released yet, or they you know uh, they're only about 500 bottles to each region um you know we, we haven't gotten a lot of tasting notes back from a lot of people on on what they think so the you guys like the first ones they get to taste and to be totally honest we put these out kind of in a staggered fashion and so i we have not sat down together and actually tasted them in a lineup. In a while. I get a little butterscotch, like the, your grandma's okay. candies I, out of her pocket. Is, yeah. How about, how about... I, um, I love those butterscotch. Shortbread. Ooh, I could get that. Okay. The okay. cinnamon. Ab- yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That kind of ties into you, that baking yeah. stuff. Ryan, from the when you said bread. butter, I went immediately to shortbread. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. It's like that buttery cookie. Yep. Butter cookie thing. But it's got such good length to it. Oh, you just want to keep... You know, it's to me, like this everything. is a very classic. This is a classic, and it's 100%. It is delicious. Thank yep. you. Yep. It's definitely a classic. Um, that, that, that rye finish is just really, like, because I'm assuming this is a higher rye, because it's got, it's got some got heat We've got all to kinds it. of things in we it. got all kinds of, but there is rye in here, but we don't, you know. Yeah, but, right, right. We did some blending, so. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> it's, it's very, very reminiscent on that rye. Yeah. That, yes, it is. It's really in the mid, well, the, the front to mid palate, not the front. The the finish is actually just fantastic for right. for for all that sticks front on, mouth fill, and it sticks on your tongue, yeah. you know, your mouth. It just coats your mouth, so it's there, and I you think, just keep going after it. I think you know? that's I think that's the first thing I realized with the buttered taste. It was just like just it's just it's there, and it won't go away, and it is good. I think this might be my favorite of the three so far. Your favorite of the three so far? Mm-hmm. DC. Hmm. This is a yummy one. Yep. It's definitely different, man. I, I really like this one. It does. It's got a great finish. It's got some cool things going on with it. So. Uh-oh. Great. That was the best pop. <laughs> the best pork <laughs> The pop. winner. I figured. The winner. This is the last one. So this, yeah, is right. the, this is the Georgia. So Georgia. Oh, we still oh, this is going I'm to excited hot. to yeah. taste this. So, wow. So full disclosure, I had a, um, in my in my notebook, I had a I had a page in there that I wrote um, VSB cheat sheet. Mm-hmm. So I had all my notes in there on all the different blends, my tasting notes, um, barrel count or sorry bottle count, proof, etc. I never got to Georgia, and I never had anything on Georgia, and I've been getting uh, feel a bunch of folks have been reaching out and wanting tasting notes, tasting notes on Georgia, and I. 
I was like, oh, you got to tell me. Yet. And I didn't even have any at home to taste it and tell right. them. So I'm excited to try this here. So, yeah. Let's dive in on this it's nose. This right here. Yep. That is Georgia. I got my peaches down in Georgia. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, uh, Devil went down to Georgia. No, Sherry had no, already sang when, it. When, 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 when I was, I was looking at the bottle, and it says GA, obviously Georgia. And I was thinking of that uh, uh, Zach Brown band song. Oh yeah, Chicken Fried? Not Chicken Fried. Mm-hmm. Uh, toes, toes. Oh, toes. toes. I got my right? toes in the water, ass in the sand. Yeah, Not right. a worry in the world. Co beer in my hand. Yep, that's a great song. All right, the nose on this thing. It's like a, it's like a tailspin, man. Like this thing is mm. all in my nose. I'm gonna have to freshen my my palate on my nose here. Thank you, thank you, man. George, man, this nose is man. This might be the best nose of the group. Well, it's I get got, I get something I I you know I I love like an orange, yeah, an orange peel or yep, some citrus. Little, yeah, it's almost like a Manhattan in a bottle. I love that. Mm-hmm. Like I mean, like it, it, and I I hate vermouth, so I hope it doesn't carry through on the taste. But, no kidding. But yeah, I do. I, I cannot I stand that sweet vermouth. I hate vermouth with you. I that. love a Manhattan. <laughs> I used to, but everyone here is very heavy on their vermouth. Some yeah. people, you have to. Some people a lot don't more bitters. Keep, you got to get put yeah. more bitters. In some there. people don't put it in their refrigerator, and it gets funky. And, and so then, I have stopped. I used to like Pikesville Rye. Yeah. Manhattan, because that's what Connor Driscoll oh, yeah. orders, and if he orders, I just smell my order that's, a, that's a good. That's a good <laughs> rye for a Manhattan. Yeah, yeah, it is. Pikesville's great. Pikesville's great. I, I so think Conroe is, Drisker, yeah. the master distiller now at, you know, Heaven Hill. Like, that's what he orders. Mm-hmm. But people, like, be crazy with the vermouth, and I'm not about it. No, you got to be careful Actually, with that. I and you don't need any more sugar in it, no. you know. No. You, are, you yeah. always ask light yeah. vermouth. Yeah. Yeah. But, I, but I do or, like, like the taste I, of I've just went straight like, old-fashioned. Can you spritz old-fashioned. the vermouth? It's really, yeah. just yeah. straight old-fashioned. I, I just, I, but I then they put chunky... Stuff. If you go <laughs> chunky, the stuff. muddly, what the kind muddly. Of muddly. muddly. Oh, okay. Right. You go to the seal box. You go to the, the seal box, which is like original Louisville. They will like <laughs> muddle fruit, like <laughs> those oranges and those mart, whatever kind of cherries, the right. fake ones. Yeah, and, and, and that's the worst. Mar- they don't even How use do you like pronounce good those? Marciano. 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 I always say maraschino, and my wife always connects cherry. I'm a maraschino. I say I say maraschino. Yeah. Maraschino. I'm with, is, you. I, I say maraschino. She it's she says something different. And she always corrects me. I'm country, well, so I'm like anybody who has. I'll a better never upbringing. put down you know a Manhattan with even Jim Beam the original stuff I drank you know 30 years ago and uh, you know they were sweet and you you have to have a starting point always and you keep improving and you know <laughs> I believe your taste. Would you like to tell tell our friends how you got into bourbon? Okay, here it goes. So I I am I the wine I've guy. Heard this story. I, I'm a wine guy right and so i've been doing wine for a long time and i meet sherry and uh first thing she says uh, it's time to have a cocktail and what cocktail do we have <laughs> it is a manhattan oh. and it's made actually with maker's mark at okay. this point of maker's course. mark all right yeah it's a very she's from long ohio time ago. originally this is so long ago what, what year was this it doesn't matter it's still made here 2000 yeah about 2000, 2000. Okay. so we're doing good with this still made here. and i love them they're tasting great i said these are really good and i used a lot of cherry juice and all that stuff at the beginning and you know i go well this is okay but you know uh i found this little thing on the shelf it's called Booker's, and Ooh. so at that point in, in 2000, and it was like 128 proof or something like that instead of 80 or 90 proof. You were going big. Proof. And you I went, go, oh, well, course. I figure I was getting a drink and a half every time I had one of those, and at that point, it was the same price. Right. Nobody <laughs> had a yeah, price yeah. difference on this stuff. Mark is such an innovator. <laughs> <laughs> He's the OG. He <laughs> really, truly, I truly swear to God. <laughs> He's like, same I go, concept. And I go, I love this barrel-proof stuff. That's the only way to do a Manhattan, though. You have to do a high, I like high-rise, high-proofed rise. No. I mean, but high-proof anything is what really Oh, yeah. Mark is Knob those. Creek now, right? You graduated from Booker's Ooh. to Knob Creek. Well, anything is... You can't get Booker's the, for a Manhattan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? They want twenty dollars a shot <laughs> now. Sherry for that. Orders, <laughs> when Sherry orders like Manhattan, she's like, "Get him a, get him a." But not, not, Creek. not Creek High Proof Rise are they're, they're great. They're fantastic. Oh they God, are. I love them. Dude, fantastic. So it was, even fantastic. that's getting hard to find on a shelf. You know, yeah, so right. we had a bar. We did eight crazy <laughs> nights of rye, and I put the I put the Knob Creek one fifteen of those episodes. in there, and people are like, oh, "I can't believe you put that." I'm like, "Dude, if oh. you do not drink a one fifteen Knob Creek rye, you you are missing out. I agree. It, Amen. It's, they're great. It, I agree. They're all day long, seven and eights on the uh, out of skeleton. It's just Absolutely. a good solid pour. Yeah. Good I mean, solid pour. Love it. You know. 
Except on their tour aspect, like six years ago, I went to a tour <laughs> and they, on their Knob Creek line, they would dump it in front of you. It's the first time it's ever happened to me, you know, because they did a lot of research on what makes a good tour. And then they were like, well, you can dip it in wax. So they dipped it and you get to put your thumbprint on it. But then you had to buy it at the gift shop for like 30% more than you would pay at retail. Nice. So suddenly I bought a Knob Creek single barrel. I'll drink it that weekend. Not thinking like nowadays. I'm like, God, I should have kept that. You know? <laughs> I drink it that week. I'm like, they. You drank my, the whole bottle? Um, I was married. And <laughs> so that was, I meant two people? <laughs> there maybe? was two of us. There was two of us. And I'm, I was married to a bourbon lover. That's how I got into it. I, I took he that. He had as bourbon. He had, I like, was married. I was miserable. I no, 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 no. Okay. That's, what, that's how so, I So, okay, here's it, how it was. That too, but I'm no, just, no, no. very positive. I'm, sorry. I'm po- sorry. Yeah, Mark, Mark knows. Like, he, I'm very positive. He loves bourbon, and I had it on my. <laughs> So every day he's like, he had bourbon club. This was like, you know, eight years ago. You know, I'm, I was married at 19. So he was like, can I drink this Knob Creek? I'm like, I have my thumbprints on that bottle. That means something. Like, go go buy a Knob Creek. Like, but that was on our shelf. And so it got drank. Um, it was close proximity. Yeah, it was there and it was yeah. to be drank. Yes. All and we drank it. All alcohol's been to drink. Correct. Absolutely. So now, nowadays I live alone and I can save the alcohols I want to save. <laughs> I, I still think Raz make the best cocktails. I'm such, I'm oh, they so, do. I'm so they selfish do. with my birth. Like, I am such a lover and a giver, except with they my, like, alcohol. Power. I'm more like, power. you're not getting yeah. it. your alcohol? With my alcohol, I'm like, you're not fucking touching my bourbon. Like, will you bring <laughs> a bottle of gin? Like, get get off. <laughs> Scott's not a gin guy. He just we, we were talking about this earlier today. I do not do gin. You can no. be. You can be. Well, gin, gin's my second go-to liquor or Same. spirit after bourbon. Well, so me because of Sherry Carter. Well, bourbon rye. If Sherry Carter gin. does it, I do it's it. It's only good for one thing: palate cleansing. So <laughs> or day I have learned now. I now things are things are coming together. So earlier, Scott, you said floral is not your. You don't love floral stuff. Right. That's why you don't love gin. Right. You know? Yeah, no, uh, I, I don't like the juniper. I don't like yeah. you know that, but yeah, I, I do like. But so I I will tell you, Monks Road, the, like the people at Logstill, like they're making a gin there, and they put like watermelon or something weird in there, mm. but it's not as crazy juniper forward. I will say it, and honestly, Rabbit Hole seem to be seem to be the two gins. Dad's that, hat. That I can kind of like, they're I can tolerate, mm. but they're yeah. But some of their whiskey is kind of floral. Yeah, yeah, no, no, they, they're floral done right. I feel like if you're like yeah. going to branch, this is what Fred. When I worked for Fred Benick, he was like, I was like, I don't love floral, and he's like, you haven't had it done right mm. because I was I'm not going to tell you who I was drinking. Um, and he gave me Dad's Hats from Pennsylvania, and he's like, this is a floral that's done right in a whiskey form. Interesting. And then I went from Dad's Hat drinking all the time at the office, which is like twenty three bucks. To like gin, mm. and yeah. now like, but I like tangerine. I feel like it's sweeter because <laughs> it's because Sherry likes it. I don't drink it, tangeray. and I feel better <laughs> the next good day. Cleanser. I feel better the next <laughs> classic. Day. If you're just like gonna have a long day, just so, like drink a clear. And spirit. it looks like water. No one cares. And the whole time I was growing up, the the people in my world drank beef eater. Like that's that's what, what they drank. That's, that's what he don't you drink. I that's what Mark drinks. And for me, Mark like beef eater, I can drink beef that's eater. I think it makes a beautiful cocktail. But like I, it's I, I just I'm not a gin drinker. So and Sherry's like at the, Sherry's not a fan. Not so a fan. at the hotel, we uh, had a happy hour and uh, from four to six. And we should say which hotel at, at uh, the Carter House and Restaurant Three Hundred One in Eureka, California, which we started many years ago. Cheers. So uh, the um, we had a happy hour where we would do like two dollar and fifty cent uh, kind of martinis, and I'd use beef eaters, uh, but and they were like a three ounce pour. And uh, by the time you were done, you could only have two of those. That's all we would limit uh, the you know customers to because it was two fifty and two of those. You should be pretty well, you know, <laughs> done happy. It, you know, you should get you happy on by that time. So that was uh, I, so I I still do love the little beef eaters, chin. And this honestly might be a huge influence from my love for James Bond. Mm-hmm. Me and my dad have a really special connection with James Bond, but from I've always wanted to drink gin, just I just wanted to, and you just want a martini, huh? just specifically the Vesper martini. Oh, oh yeah, God, well, that, that's that half gin, half, half, half vodka. vodka. Oh yeah, yeah, and it is delicious. <laughs> but I, I think, I think, I understand why people don't like gin. I think I just have this little connection to gin, and I've just I was destined for it. I think you have to be careful with clear spirits. Oh, one hundred percent. Um, 
Ryan, you and I need to have a conversation because <laughs> okay. I'm a clear spirits expert. Oh, are you? Okay. All right. Specifically a gin expert. She is. I will uh, vouch. I, I will have, vouch for, I won't even say the number of gins. I have had <laughs> more gincidents. Gincidents. <laughs> than probably that. years you've been on planet Earth. <laughs> I had a. So <laughs> I'm going to start saying that I had a gin incident. So, so I will gin say, <laughs> Navy strength gin is a you totally should, different should. game. Yes, that is true. You need Scott, I'll give you that. Gin incident. Uh, Make a T-shirt. Patent well, it. she. Well, it's Jerry it, Carter. Patent. There's that's only that's only part one. Part two is <laughs> Carter Nat. If you have enough gin incidents, a Carter what? Carter Nat. Being Carter Nat. When the Carters Nats. text and you can't not text them back, you. Okay, if Sherry texts me, it's a whole day experience. Yeah, like, if you get in the car with us, and you, if, you don't get I out. I agree. Usually. Like I'm like, God, there's I'm actually up. no door this. handles once you get in. <laughs> that not, is not true. You don't want to leave. I have canceled that, dates. That is I have not canceled. true. I, I'm like, what did I do? 2021. Oh, I just hung out with Mark and Sherry. <laughs> like I don't know what else I would have wanted to do more. But when it's like, that's what my boss was yelling at me. He's like, you're hanging out the Carter's ball. I'm like, I, it's like after 12 p.m. You like, got it down. I'm done. Because we're asleep by 7, 8, 12, it, yeah. 3. Yeah. <laughs> it varies. It varies. Can I say, but, can I say on the air that I would love to be Carter napped? Yes, Is you that, can. <laughs> yeah. I want to be Carter napped. That sounds amazing. We'll do it. I Anytime. Got, oh, hey, sh- I got Carter napped once and ended up married. So. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> The ultimate Carter <laughs> nap. <laughs> Watch out when you get Carter napped. <laughs> like, American go. Gladiator. Wait, okay, Carter the first nap. time I was like, let's go to whatever and like Merle's Whiskey Kitchen, and it was like seven hours later. Mark comes back over because he was like working on the oh, shop. Oh, that was a fun day. And he's like, we gotta go. And I'm like, oh god, we've been here like seven hours. <laughs> that was a big hey. gym day. But when you're drinking gl- clear spirits, it's like you don't even notice. So, which you brings me to you don't know part it. B. You don't even notice. So day when you drinking. when Gincidents. you have a incident such as that day was, <laughs> love that you might find yourself having to have a intervention. <laughs> intervention. Part two. Part two. I went home and took a nap. Part two. It was good. Part two. <laughs> then you're ready to go again. <laughs> okay, good. back to this. Back, back, back to back to Georgia. Back we to Georgia. Been Georgia. We've been yeah. all around the world. And yeah. I, I, I. We've been hanging out in London for a while. Okay, so. I, what do you guys think of this? Dude, I love the nose on I this thing. I can't get the nose, though. But it's complex. It is so complex. This is, But, it, but that, that's why I love it. I mean, it's just, it's all over the place. I got a flavor for the mouth, but I wanted to see what everyone says with the nose first. Well, I have a, I have a note, but I don't want to influence Yeah, you anything. guys got to go first, because you know, Sherry's got... She's going to suck the, us into she's her... Got the, <laughs> she's got the nose. She does have... She has I, the I, words. That's what she has. She's got the words, and she's that really was beautiful. She really loves, uh, you know, aromatics, and you know, I I love mouthfeel. So I'm, I'm getting a little bit of floral on this, but I'm I'm getting like toffee, like like a weird like Heath Bar type nose, and it's also coming through a little bit on the palate. Um, I get, yeah, I, I like that coffee thing in your you know coffee, and coffee and toffee, toffee yeah, coffee toffee. That those richer, darker caramels. Yes. Yep. It's, it's super it, rich it and robust. A, it is a bold smell. Coffee and toffee still aren't hitting it for me. I it is fascinating. It's a fascinating you smell. You still get some of the wood, you get some oak. It's so it's so I get some dark chocolate. It's so right there, you guys. She has it. Oh, she I, I, I'm, 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 you have me. What is the note? Yes. I I need to know. I just I need to know your opinion. It's Grippo's barbecue potato chips. God, I love you so much. <laughs> Grippo's so much. Wait a minute, now. I gotta, I gotta die. I love Hammer you. Heads. I love Hammer you, heads. dude. I love Grippo's barbecue potato chips. Yeah, it's oh, good. Who, they oh. have the Grippo fries. <laughs> Cheers, that dude. Because it's ve- very savory. Oh, dude, it Lord. Is. I, I, okay, I, I get the sweetness from the barbecue sauce, and, the, and I, it's fatty. I, I, I totally it's get fatty. it. Yes, it's yes. almost bacony. Yeah, barbecuey. Yep. No. I would have never picked that up. I would like, never I would have, have either. It's Grippo's barbecue potato chips. Like, <laughs> but uh, God damn it, did she nail that like, on the head? It's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, that's Funyuns mixed with. <laughs> so, like I said, <laughs> but like, so we, but, we, we were. So it makes what I said makes sense though. You get a little bit of caramel, like that's some of that sweetness. You get a little bit of that coffee. It's got that bacon roast. in there. I, I, I get, do. I get the I bacon. Get, I, I get the caramel now. The bacon, but you wrap that all in, and what do you get? Grippo's barbecue. Grippo's goddamn barbecue. <laughs> and, and I'm over here, and I say this like passionately because 
I was we were talking before the podcast. I'm from Lawrenceburg, Indiana, which is right next to Cincinnati, Ohio. And I think there's a feud between <laughs> where did Grippo start, Louisville <laughs> or Cincinnati? <laughs> and Cincinnati people are super like. Grippos. Protective Grippos about that. is ours. Yes. It is ours. So I grew up on Grippos, and <laughs> God, I just got I just got a little chill through my body. Like I just nailed it on the head. Like Grippos, Grippos is what it is. So Cincinnati invented the Grippo, right? I but believe Louisville so. made Grippo what it is. I, yeah, exactly. I, I, I think that's also, and that's really what it boils down to, right? But people from Cincinnati still are like Grippos. Is it's ours. ours. It's, it's ours. ours. Yeah, and it can be theirs, right? They yeah. they can, they can say I invented it. Yeah. But Grippos wouldn't be Gripples. Whoever did, Louisville. thank you. Yeah. Thank you, whoever did. Because uh, they're addicted. Life is thank better you. with Grippos. I like, I will smoke. Oh, my God. Look well, at this. in the house, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> so this is a legend just walked in right here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you right here. You do not. <laughs> damn, this is. I, I, this is. One of my other favorite people in the bourbon world just showed up, and this is just crazy. I can't Surprise! believe he just walked in the door. That is insane. Do you, have you met this gentleman? I have not. Do you know who this gentleman is? I do not. So this is Mr. Patrick Heiss, Mr. Wilderness Trail himself. So Mr. Wilderness. We were just talking about your bourbon or your rise over in uh, House and Justin Bourbon. I, I tell people all day long. I it, was like, Wilderness Trail Rise. One it's, of, my, it's my oh, daddy. I love it. It is so underrated. So underrated. It makes some of my favorite cocktails. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. God, it's so it. good. It's really and, it's awesome. and, and, and one of the other reasons I, I, I love Shane and Pat is the fact that they uh charitable. Like, I mean, oh my all God, about the yeah. charity, the, the breast cancer, the thing. They just did the tornado release bottles. Yep. And, I mean, just yep. things like that. And and it's sorry not to steal the show from old Carter here oh, for a no, second. No problem at all. We go Pat. Pa- pa- Pat walked hey, in. And we, we, we go so far Pat. Pat. Oh, yeah, Pat. absolutely. <laughs> The whole firm solutions thing. I mean, just oh, yeah. like, absolutely. Matt, like I said, some, some, now it's like it's like the trifecta of greatness here. I didn't even realize this was going to happen. So, well, we can talk about one of my favorite brands, which is Old Carter. Dude, I, <laughs> let's do that. Let's absolutely. Do it. Tell us what you think about this Georgia pour. That's oh, absolutely because I no, want I, w- I want your I want your take on this. Yeah, we want another person's this. take on it. Georgia oh, is okay. Georgia's right there. Here's a, here's a, here's a Fresh glass. Yeah, fresh glass. That's not, That's not Georgia. So I, I wanted. I'm super curious on what you think about my taste profile. And like I said, I want. I want. Um, I want our friend here to try it out before you know. I maybe ruin the spoils. I want him to, yeah. you know, see his tasting. Notes. Yeah, to go through his exploration of what f- fabulous bourbon this is. Um, I just love that you picked out Grippos. I just. I just can't get over that. I'm sorry. So Pat, my tasting note on this was. Grippo's barbecue potato chips. And that's on the Georgia. Was that, was that your that's taste? on the was that your taste well, or your smell? That. I get that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big Grippo's fan too. I use, <laughs> I actually use the Grippo seasoning. I, I've eaten Grippo's ever since I was a kid. Well, I tell but you, I they, definitely get that. There's that's, a little fat, a, a little mm, sweet, a little, little bacon, a little smoke. Totally addicting. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. What's the proof on this? This good question. Georgia, I think, good think good was question. one. We haven't been talking about 118. that. One eighteen eight. Oh, that's DC. Yep. Mm. One eighteen eight. One eighteen. That's really good. Is that, that is a really good. Single barrel or small batch? No, one, actually, it's one seventeen batch. six. So these so are very small batch. So Pat, these are our very small batches. Mm-hmm. Three barrel blend. We did one for each distributor. Okay. Sent them samples of blends. They selected the blend that they liked the best. Mm. Good strategy. Pat's it was hit, really fun. It was some different. We always mm-hmm. try to do some <laughs> different. <laughs> yeah, that's Outside right in box. my sweet zone for proof, though. Me too. You know, me too. This probably would would have went to the barrel. What one ten probably? Uh, uh, probably at that point, yeah. yeah. It's a. It is about a seven year old. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, did you all do any dilution once you? Never. never. We still have never done that. Okay. You know, we don't even know how to do that. Mm. <laughs> yes, we do. Mark's I like, took a class. <laughs> Mark said from University. You. Uh, yeah, that's true. Dude. That's why I'm up here. <laughs> Mark said, "What's water?" Yeah. <laughs> R O. What? Huh? You no. know, my yeah. father used to say, "You know, water does it rust pipes." That's right. Rust That's pipes. Good analogy. <laughs> That's fact too. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, one hundred percent. Yeah, I really like this. So That's what, that, that's a taste. Well done. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, is this uh, is this made in Georgia? Is that why this, it's labeled as Georgia? No, no. Th- these are Indiana um, okay. yeah, distillates. Okay, but this went to the Georgia distributor. Oh, got it. Okay. Yep. Makes sense. Yep. Okay. 
Gotcha. So I, I want to I oh. throw this out to you and see what you say. Take another swig because I get the I get the fattiness. The fattiness was a good spot on pick out of there, but I also get a lot of sweetness in this. Tell me if you taste any Welcher's grape juice because that's what I get out of this. You get some fruit. I think if I got hold, please hold. I can maybe pick that up on the nose, but I don't get it on the taste. Not on the taste? Not on the taste. Mm. But then again, I'm, I'm not Sherry, so I don't have the super palate over there. I mean, <laughs> for me, it's after I've already swallowed it and there's air coming back through my mouth. Mm-hmm. Then it goes that fruit direction that way. Yeah. A lot of lip smacking going on. Yeah, I love this. I love it. <laughs> and then now you've so, tainted her actually, own Jessica, flavor profile. Actually, Jessica Ann will know this. You know, the Bonnie Bell lip smacker um, uh, lip glosses. The grape one is yep. very specific. Grape plum. That is. Something. I would go more so, plum. So yeah, actually, plum okay. is mu- more where I would lean. Okay. All right. Yep. Yep. Then now that you say that, because when you said that, I was like grape plum. I was like, ooh, plum, plum. That plum. might be where you're hitting it. Plum. Yeah. Maybe it's because I don't have very much experience with the plums. Yeah. So I would. I really don't know that pro- taste profile. I just. Get, I, take, I get grape juice. I just. I don't know what it is. No, this is a rye bourbon. Uh, oh, there's some rye in, some it. Rye in it. it. It's actually a blend of three barrels and a couple different mash bills. Okay. Right. But, but actually, rye bourbon, all rye bourbon? No, there no. are a couple different ones in there. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we had fun with these. And they're all different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All the very smalls are small. Yeah. So you know what? I'm going to make a prediction after we get off the air. I'm a, I'm, I, I think I, I might have an idea of what this thing is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know where I could go with you? What's that? Grape jelly. Grape okay. jelly? Because it's jelly. sweeter to it me sweet. than grape it, juice. Juice. That's fair. That's fair. Hmm. But that's up here. Yeah. That's coming. Like I said, for me, it's in the nose. It's Up yeah, and back. I get the, yeah. But it's, it's, the it's after I've it. totally gone. Yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. I, I 100% it comes, it comes back out. Maybe that was because, I, I was, again, I think it's because you guys got me so excited for these very small batches. I just kind of just bypass the nose. I go straight for the mouth. <laughs> All right. So we did, we did seven of these very small batches. We have only six distributors, so we sent uh, three, actually, samples, and they could pick. Oh, okay. And so they picked uh, the one they liked the best, and then we blended some more and sent it to the next distributor and saw what they picked. And we did one for ourselves, um, which is the OC, which we will sell out of here. And um, the other, you know, a couple other things we have here today is we actually had this, uh, um, some single barrels, Kentucky Straight, a 14, so, which we purchased uh, when we first started Old Carter Whiskey. Nice. And we'd like to have on record that we would love to buy some barrels from you guys. We still, we still <laughs> yeah. have. I think I have seven or nine barrels over okay, there. Still. Yeah. <laughs> Come on back, see us. Come on I back and it. get more, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a we, I love that. Pat. We love you guys. Pat. We do. Yeah, well, we go back a long way. Oh, yes, sir. I remember the first time y'all came over when we first started. We were probably making one barrel a day back in. I think days. you were. You, you were. kept saying, well, "Not yet. A day. Not yet." Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dixon and us would come over and say, hey, you ready yet? Yeah. <laughs> Not quite yet. Not I think yet. we make 110 barrels now for every one barrel we used to make. Wow. <laughs> I love Congratulations. It. That's, that's so you amazing. all are running, what, a 36-inch column still now? We do a 36 and 18. 18, yeah. So we do about two Beautiful miles. operation. I know. It really is. Yeah. Very is, the cleanest, clear. one of the cleanest places around, too. All it's right. Beautiful. Yeah. So we, 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 we went through... The whole U.S., right? Yeah. Yeah, we got, we got a little dessert, though. Yeah, we did. We got a little dessert. No, I'm going to get oh. it. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah, well, bring yeah, the dessert. Yeah, bring it around. Yeah. 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 Back cabin now. Here. <laughs> Ryan, hold me down. I, I was you, about to you. ask what, what what's in the next few months for you guys, and I'll let you think about that while you're grabbing dessert, because, hell, I didn't know we were having dessert. Me either. Tell you what, that I'm excited. The party just keeps getting better. So, try try the 14, too. But so I, I I really like the all the beautiful. Uh, Just because it was sitting. Which one did yeah. you pour him, Jess? Twenty five. Twenty five. Twenty five. Twenty five is good. Twenty five is good. Well, it's just whatever your palate it's, is. It's all about <laughs> preference, man. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna taint. No, you you got you guys were talking a big on the twenty four. I'm big on the twenty five. Oh, this is dessert. It really is. Oh, <laughs> dessert in a bottle. I can see it. <laughs> let me let me oh, clean, let me clean oh, this. Oh, this is class. crazy. Yeah. So tell us what this is. What, what we got no, here? No, I'm not going to. Okay. All right. <laughs> I can tell you what it is. It's whiskey. <laughs> Good analysis. 
How's the classes going, Pat? Good. Good. I'm doing a, a one tomorrow, a full day class for that has a beautiful um, color. A bunch of scholarship students from University of Miami, Ohio. Wow. So it's yeah. just a one <clears throat> one day thing. Cool. Yeah. Miami we'll of back Ohio. for the six day class here in a couple of weeks. Are they the Red, Red Hawks? Hawks? You know what? I'm not sure what the Red what's Hawks. their mascot. Is that right? I think it's the Red Hawks. Yeah. It sure is. I've been up there for scientific <laughs> seminars, but Never for a ball game. Oh, good for you. So I've, this, I've, this been, is, I've been up there for a green beer day. This is how we know it <laughs> immediately that we change directions in the state of Kentucky because you go like northern Kentucky slash southern Indiana. It's straight to California to Pat. Like it's a it's a yeah. totally different world on that accent, buddy. Well, I just came from California two days ago, so <laughs> yeah. out there did around, you pick, uh, did you pick up some of that surfer <laughs> dude stuff, man? Out there. <laughs> yep. Yep. Where were you, Pat? Uh, I was in the Bay Area, cool. just working with our distributor and stuff out Very there. Very good. Yeah. Well, you, next time you do that. Who do you that, have out there? We do Pacific Edge. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, they're real good. They're next good time place. you're out there, let us know. Yeah. Come up to the winery. We'd love to. the winery yeah. in Calistoga. I'd love to. We were here. That's got a great yeah. news. But uh, always reach out. We'd love yeah, to Yeah, we might be there. Yeah. That'd be awesome. We're in trouble. We'll, we'll tear it up out there. We know all the, oh, where bet. all the bodies are buried. I'm just now figuring it out out there, just a little <laughs> bit. Scott, Scott, well, what's your uh, what's your take on doing a a wine podcast, dude? I, I, I so listen. I'm not I am not prolific enough in the wine world that I would be able to probably truly appreciate the craftsmanship that the Carters have put mm-hmm. out there because I drink a lot of sweet sweet wine. But I would love to do that. I, I would, think I you mean, would be just fine. Ooh. I would. It would absolutely thrill me to try some yeah. some of your old stuff. The the drier, the better for me. I so when I went, love dry wines. So when I go to Switzerland, my, my my friends in Switzerland, they they take me around and we do all these wine tastings and stuff like that. And How often I, you go to Switzerland? Switzerland. We go about every three to four years. My, we've got some relatives that live over there, so we, we oh, that's nice. So we get to, we get to stay for free. We just got to pay for the air flight over there and the food when we go that's there. Which by the way, the stuff's expensive over there. But, Is it? But I'm gonna tell you what, some of the Hungarian wines that are super super sweet, but they are some of the most delicious Reason. things I've ever tried in my life. Yeah, I'm Slovenian Hungarian. Oh, really? Yes. We uh, that fits because you're super sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Slovenia is the country with love in the middle. There you that go. That is true. Uh, I went to Croatia back in nursing school, and we stopped at a local. Um, what's I guess what is the what is what do you call a wine distiller? Is it just a oh, distiller? It's a, a vintner or a, vintner. a winemaker. Oh, a vintner, okay. yes. Okay. If they Sorry. distill it, they'll be a brandy <laughs> maker. Yeah. If they, went, we're going to get into something else, we yeah. start distilling it. Uh, well, <laughs> I went straight to Armagnac. I've been to a fail I was on like, Armagnac. And, and I love Armagnac. Armagnac. <laughs> yeah. we, bought, we, bought, we bought six bottles, two of this amazing cab, and then we bottled um, two uh, Chardonnays ourselves that we still have that we're saving for anniversaries and stuff. And... Man, I still have one of those cabs left, and it's it is it's on the back of my mind. I just need another. So, I just, so I the nose it. on this is complex too. Ooh. Yeah, but once once you taste it, you'll taste it. Like you'll you'll know exactly what it is. I think <laughs> I got a prominent, and it is delicious. But it is it is dessert for sure. If you're into this type of taste profile, now have you guys had this before? Oh yes. yeah, <laughs> and this is why you call it dessert, right? This we we the, just we just the, put this in the tank. Oh yeah, my we've God. Had we it. bottle it oh, tomorrow. So actually, I'm so excited. It's really good, dude. Now this Thank has got you. some. This has got some stank on it. This is like 130 plus. Oh yeah, baby, you got you got a good palate. I'll tell you, it it's 135.9. 135.9. Yeah. I would have guessed like 134. It doesn't drink that hot, but you can tell oh, just it the difference at between all. between yeah. what we have been drinking and this. Like you can just kind of. I think oh I got more hugs yeah. with the, the other bottles that we've had today than I had this. Had more barrels next but this. But no, man, this thing, yeah, this we, is finishing yeah, this is start, unreal. We're, pile, we're piling let's, up in the back. The ma- you were the mouth. Let's <laughs> let's go through the nose real quick because I'm super I'm super can't wait to go through the, like what okay, your yeah. palate tastes like on this. this. Look, look, I'm, I'm, we're gonna put Pat on the spot here. Now, what do you get on the nose here, Pat? <laughs> I'm getting like cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, so f- funny you said that because the first thing that came to mind was Pillsbury orange sweet rolls. Mm. Huh. Oh yeah. yeah, I like that. Mm-hmm. Always a lot of orange on this one mm-hmm. for me. I get a lot of citrus on this either, but 
again, I go straight to the taste. I don't get it. I don't get any cit- uh, citrus in the taste. You don't? I don't. I do get a little. D- citrus. Do you? Yeah, I get a little orange. I do get some orange. So on I it. get that on. I get that orange cinnamon roll, but on a cedar plank. Oh, <laughs> I get. I, I, like everyone's drinking right now. I mean, there's I, so much cedary no I get a, There's yeah. so much wood in the nose. Yeah. this is old. Yeah. This is this is I old. I was about to say this has got some age. I get it. this. Well, it's really Not, 15 years old, but it'll have a 14 year old statement. And on it, it actually has some 16 year old barrels yeah. in it. Only because we don't have any stickers that say 15. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's a good way to do it. <laughs> Does anyone you know how ink pen, don't you? You, can, can, well, you probably have to do a cola approval to add a plus one on that. I don't think the TTB will accept that, Pat. You know what? You are so, that is so cool. I'm going to do, when we write out the labels, on a, a few of them, I'll just do a little plus one on the neck collar. <laughs> I love and it. And autograph one and send it to me. <laughs> autograph it, send it to me. That's Anything right. for you, Pat. Thank you. <laughs> Now, so one this thing is I a noticed blend. about this, this is a very a really blend. interesting mouthfeel. Like, that's one thing I got. Now, it could be because the size of my tongue shrunk uh, <laughs> half, uh, due to the alcohol content, but uh, it's got a really nice mouthfeel on Thank it. I mean, look at the legs on that thing. Oh, it's, I mean, it is just, it's, yeah. it's gorgeous. I mean, does She's anyone, not shy. Does anyone get some nice buttery licorice on this? It's a lot of butter. A lot of butter. I get a lot of butter, but I don't get licorice. You don't get licorice. I don't like licorice. Ooh. You know what? I love licorice. All right. And I, Mark I, loves I'm, licorice. I love licorice. And I'm getting but not all the licorice. licorice. I don't get Are you talking like this, Twizzlers? I, I eat like licorice. That. Oh, I'm just black talking about black licorice, licorice black all the time. All right. <laughs> I'm getting same, a lot of black licorice. Same camp. But when I was a kid, we had a big old sassafras tree in my grandma's yard. Yeah. Mm. That, that gets And when you're a kid and there's a sassafras tree... What do you do? You eat the leaves. Yep. <laughs> or your parents try to poison you with sassafras tea, and then you find out later in life that it's actually uh, detrimental to health. But we would, we would pick the leaves. <laughs> we would pick, my parents were not even involved. I, we would pick all the leaves off or pick the leaves and then chew on, you know, the stem from the leaf to the tree. And it tastes like licorice. Yep. Yeah. So for me, because it's so wrapped in that wood profile, mm-hmm. It's sassafras rather than licorice. Okay. Now, this guy is a licorice expert. Yeah, I love it. I, I get he the sassafras. But I don't like it sometimes in Because it's a woodsy zone for, for me. Wine. For me. Or a little sassafras, bit I get that. I don't whiskeys, get licorice. But but so, I, yeah, maybe it's because I don't know exactly what sassafras is because maybe I'm just a city boy. But it's it's more like root beer, actually. It is. It's like yeah. cross between root beer Boom. and basil. That's it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. it. It's a more Scratch woodsy green. It's Scratch a green. It's a green layer. But that's what sassafras is. Old school sassafras is root beer. I mean, that's what it is. That's what it is. Sarsaparilla. Yeah, sarsaparilla. That's where root beer came from. It's from sarsaparilla. Bam. That's the base. And a little yeah, right. bit of anisette you know, always, too, like, you know, like fennel or stuff like that, too. Right. So I was going to say clove, but that makes all sense that it all tie in there. This is this is liquid gold. This is really good. Did you this say anisette? Really damn good. Mm-hmm. You be careful. This is going to hurt my pocket. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. No, <laughs> Terry, <laughs> I, I'm really not happy because this one's going to hurt my pocket. Got a little bit of anisette. <laughs> <It's gonna hurt laughs> <I mean, excuse laughs> this one's going to hurt my pocket. <laughs> I am willing to pay... <laughs> I can tell you what you're gonna pay. I don't know what you're willing to pay, but I can tell you oh. what you're gonna pay. And I'm cool with it. I'm yeah. just throwing no, it out there. One hundred percent. This is. No, oh, this is glorious. That's what I said. Thank this you. is gonna. This is gonna. This is gonna hurt the pocket because I'm gonna have to get a few of these. You know, uh, this will go out to the actually all the distributors. So um, we haven't raised the price, you know, at all no. since we started. Um, you know, this, you know. Um, should be around uh, two hundred dollars, you know. Two two twenty. Oh, okay. Retail. Well, retail. I was guessing like two fifty to two seventy five because I know it had a little bit more. No, this is it. a this will be a regular small batch. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, yeah, about twelve. Uh, oh, Jay sent it over. I think it's eleven hundred and fifty bottles. Eleven fifty. Eleven fifty. Eleven fifty. Should be. Sweet. We haven't put it into bottles yet, and we'll. If no, I come over and help two bottles, bottle, <laughs> then it's happens to lose. Okay. You guys need free labor or? <laughs> Yes. Jay, yes. At, <laughs> Jay at Old Carter Whiskey Co. dot com. Yes, we need free labor. No, oh my God, no, no. That's a guy. <laughs> Thank God, this I is free labor. This is going to go on after oh, uh, Urban. This is going to be after it's bottled. This is great. This but is if great. you need free labor in between now and whenever, <laughs> like I mean, I, I bet I could crack some time out of the middle of my day. Absolutely. <laughs> Just come as long over. As I can sip Tell this. me whenever. I'll come. <laughs> 
work. You have to work eight hours before you can get pores of what you are bottling. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, we eight don't. Eight hours is a little harsh. <laughs> I don't even work eight hours on my day I job. I thought the Carters were this fun. This is extremely. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. When you do, <clears throat> if you do writing of the labels, we always give you a little, a little taste. You don't there. want me labeling anything. It's always no. sitting there, you know, t- no just keep in mind what you're, you know, writing, what batch, what you're tasting. It's like army I rations. <laughs> I would, I would 100% offer my services for that, but I have the worst kid, chicken scratch. So Dude, yes. you I, don't want you don't want me on this. Labels. So does Mark. So he got fired from label writing immediately. <laughs> yeah, you know, they, we did, they, but we did in a pinch. We did have to pull him in. And uh, any any labels you see that, uh, that, that, that are, are really, illegible, really bad, <laughs> I wrote. So my problem with <laughs> with with numbers and letters and things like that is I'm inconsistent. I, like sometimes I will write a two and I'll put the little loop in it, and then sometimes I'll just do the dash. Scott, like I'm the, the same way. That's my problem. Like I'm so inconsistent. <laughs> And if you got a, a rounded bottle, you know, that's one good thing about our bottles. They're at least flat, you know, where the writing surfaces are. Pat, right. we, but we write them when is. they're on the rolls. We don't, I know. Not I was going to say also, <laughs> be sure to write it whenever they're flat. <laughs> if you can. I love you. Uh, good Lord. Well, I, I have, I have, uh, I've, ha- I've had folks reach out that said, I've got this bottle and the writing looks really weird. And uh, I'm worried it's counterfeit. And I'm like, send me a picture of the bottle. Oh, Mark. They send it, and I'm like, nope, Ro- Mark wrote that. It's completely it, legit. That is legit. <laughs> it, there is like not two letters or you know numbers the same on that's that thing. That's very no. good for forensics. You right. know, if you ever get in trouble, <laughs> Just send a make your handwriting really erratic. So. <laughs> It can't be traced back to you. The price is worth it. It's 125 <laughs> proof. No, actually, it's 110. Like, Mark just wrote that's the an extra special bottle. <laughs> it's an extra special bottle because Mark wrote on it. Yes. And he got fired after, like, whatever. So It's kind of like tornado. There's only six bottles that look like that. Very, very rare. It's kind of like tornado bottles, but instead of the warehouse getting destroyed, it's like the label the got destroyed. It's like Carter 27 year. It's very rare because uh. he, he's only allowed to do five or six before Sherry gets mad and kicks him off. Yeah. Uh, this will not oh. work. So... Now that we're moving into the Joe Rogan podcast area, mm. <laughs> it's always fun with the Carters. Uh, so, well, what so a great this. name for a podcast, by the way. What? Always fun. fun always fun with the Carters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just do our own little start, start doing this little thing right here. <clears throat> so this is our next American whiskey. All right. Next American. Well, I tell you what, I'm I'm in and I'm excited. Being bottled tomorrow. I think, I think they said 1155. Isn't that what you said? Yeah, batch, batch, batch uh, eight. This will be this batch will be eight. eight. Yeah, uh, batch Jesus seven is one. waiting in the wings. Gotcha. So. Yep. Batch delicious. Eight. Batch eight's coming it before batch seven. It is delicious. It is delicious. Thank you. Boy, so look. I'm very happy with her. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna, this would get me in trouble. Yeah, it's too easy. Too it easy is. and it's, it's it high goes proof. so easy and it's high proof. Yep. This reminds me a lot of batch one. Uh, was it batch one? 134.9. Is that what that was? 136. You know better point, than we do, Scott. One, uh, only one I remember is batch four, 136.9. Yeah. Well, the only one I remember is batch three. three you, I drank, drank about eight cases of it. I was the window <laughs> on this 22nd floor of the Omni <laughs> during COVID. Thank you, 2020. <laughs> Thank God we had like Thank uh, you. 30 God bless. Six, uh, six packs in the closet because she polished off half of it. That's called sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> it was sanitizer. Yes, it was. <laughs> I was putting that all the places. All That the needed places. to go. <laughs> Let me see here. I'll say that for the after hours discussion. <laughs> <laughs> That's the after podcast special. Huh. We'll, get the, we'll, we'll get into those. It is batch one. Batch huh. one is 134.9. That's the one. American whiskey. Nice. Because yeah, that's why, because I, 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 you can see I've got almost n- nothing left of that bad boy. Like it's, yeah. I was drinking it during oh. Christmas with my oh, yeah. uh, cousin Eddie that Glass. <laughs> yes. Now, you had the, the, the moose proof? class? The moose class. The oh, that's amazing. We did one. Um, one of Cheers our Americans was 139.6. Oh, so was this is just coming in. That, was a, that one was a bad boy. That was, wasn't that three? I think it was four, actually. I think yeah. four was the big one. Maybe. And I was so happy it came in just underneath 140, you know, because I said, oh, you know. Yeah. Right. 139.6. So we got batch right. eight coming out. What so, else is coming up? Okay, so we're going to have two more bourbons coming. 
Those would be 11 and 12. Okay. They're going to be a little smaller. Uh, one's a five-barrel batch. One's a six-barrel batch. And those will probably be in February. Yeah, okay. we're, um, I think, in the, probably in the next month we should get all and four they batches are, out. They are very interesting, very old. Not age-stated, but they're up there. Okay. Source juice. All right. Sorry, we don't have samples of those. That's okay. That's no, all right. listen, you brought us a treat. We love treats, so that it's was straight a, that out was, of that, the tank, baby. That was, that was a ten <laughs> Matt missed out. Treat. Nanny, nanny, Matt, you missed out. <laughs> ha, nanny, ha. nanny. So <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna have to bring the grippos next time. That's right. I have to bring the grippos. <laughs> you know, I, I always smush the grippos on my bologna sandwich. Ooh. It's nothing yes, but it flavor. Bologna. Nothing but flavor. You only, know? only Damn, you could afford bologna. I always just put grippos on a sandwich <laughs> with, with some <laughs> red <laughs> mayonnaise. <laughs> Smash that together. Bam. <laughs> oh yeah, fried bologna. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't start buying bologna until recently. Oh. Eckridge though, it's it's got to be Eckridge. It's got to be the the, the <laughs> red the red the red, uh, yeah, the red plastic around yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Don't get Mark started uh, on bologna. He, he Fish, burned a house down on bologna. Fishers. Making Fishers a fried bologna sandwich once. <laughs> so, I did. Fishers <laughs> is where I'm at. I like I smoked smoking. out my, my parents' house. <laughs> I like to smoke my bologna and then put it on the griddle. Nice. Ooh. You're fancy. Yeah. You're smoke really bologna. fancy. <laughs> so smoke it. Put put scores on it. Like score it like no you kidding. would score. Yeah, score it like you would score anything else. Put you a little bit of mustard on it. Then you, put you, then yeah. put your rub on there. You are a magician. Then you smoke it for like about three hours. What? That's it. About You're three, a magician. About three hours. You put it on the smoker at about two twenty five to two fifty. Would never have thought of that. If we get a smoker, will you come over and smoke we, we stuff? Don't. Yeah. We don't. <laughs> so put then, right on a frying pan. That baby's bad. That's good to go. It's good to go. But, 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 but <laughs> then, butter? as soon as it makes a little hi hat, you're good. But Ooh. then <laughs> you flip it. You cut it thick. You put it on the griddle. You fry it. And you put it on a sandwich. Oh, my God. Slap Ooh. your mama, dude. Slap your slap mama good. Slap your mama. Dang. I'm telling you, slap your mama good right there. Ooh, Look, Pat, Pat is, Pat's, your Pat's, grandma. Pat's got me right here. He's like, oh, Scott, oh, he's preaching, man. He's got it. So <laughs> I was you. just thinking, if you're ever going to fry bologna, be sure to get it up to the 600-degree temperature required to convert <laughs> the nitrosamines <laughs> into carcinogenic uh, components. <laughs> Same thing with hot dogs, too. <laughs> This, oh, this, oh, is, oh, wait, this is coming this from the could, scientist, man. This could, scientist. This could give me some major insight into an incident, not a gincident, not a gincident not but a gincident. an incident that I had once when I got into a hot dog eating contest with myself. Um, <laughs> did you well, win? I, did you win? I you sure won. didn't. <laughs> the hot dogs won. Did you overheat them? I fought the dogs. But no, the I dogs overate won. them. Oh, overate them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Overheat. There's no, no, there's no Joey Chester over here. <laughs> oh, it was a July 4th. It we was were, something. We bonded over hot dogs the first time we met. Yes, we did. Bonded over hot dogs. Now, wait a minute. Yes. The first time Be- Sherry and I met. Or a scene in a movie. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like a scene in a movie. Bonded over hot dogs. I went to a Bardstown Bourbon Company event, and I was so sick. I hadn't eaten all day. I was running here, there, there, and I went to the gas station and got hot dogs. Oh, God. Because I love the hot... I'm like, protein, bourbon. I'm going to a bourbon event, protein. And I... My friend Eddie was like, you're a wallflower. You're just like stuck in the wall. You're like not moving. I'm like, my belly hurts. And Sherry comes over to me and she was like... I've eaten hot dogs from a gas station. We bonded. <laughs> bonded over hot dogs. <laughs> over gas station hot dogs. Hot, gas no station food. hot dogs. Gas station hot dogs. I don't know. Gas station Who egg salad. Eaten? Well, there's Ooh, actually similarities between whiskey <laughs> I don't know about and that gas one. station hot dogs, mainly with re- respect to the age of them. Some of their uh, <laughs> some of the hot dogs in gas stations probably would qualify as bottled in bond. <laughs> if, uh, they were alcoholic. <laughs> Especially in Bardstown uh, and Danville, Danville a right? Straight, <laughs> a straight hot dog would be a two year old. And uh, <laughs> I just gotta know. I've never heard this before. That. Gas station egg salad. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. egg salad cool. sandwiches. Oh. That's taking no. your life that, in your own hands. That's exactly right. That is. That, You're that's definitely like taking your life station. in your own hands. I think that Sushi. would be more likely for your incident than a hot dog. No kidding. That, that's Absolutely. a gincident waiting to happen that is right 100% there. One hundred percent. I love living on the edge. What can a, I that is a gincident waiting to happen. Egg salad out of a. <laughs> I'm like out of a it's convenience like, store. It's like my kryptonite. My eyes go into pinwheels, and I'm like egg oh, salad. You gotta have something to dip the hot dog I love good egg salad, but. There's no I way too. I'm eating it out of no, a No, absolutely no way. No way. Every day of the week, I'll well, do it. No way. 
in it. It's like pimento I'm cheese. I'm staring up to these 300 of bottles you know, of Old Carter right now because I can't look her in the eye. <laughs> 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 oh, gravy. So, Well, all right. So I, I'm going to wrap this bad boy up so we can have a little bit more fun off the, yeah. off the mic. Yeah. And then it works. <laughs> <laughs> if they want to reach out, Carter, if they want to do the club, if they want to do whatever, how, how do they do that? And I'm going to let Miss Sherry handle this one. Thank you. Thank you very much. First of all, Scott, for taking time out tonight to come over. This was a blast. And um, if you want to hook up and ch- and check out what we're up to, uh, lots of stuff happens on Instagram. And that's where we kind of like let recent news go or new news or that kind of stuff. Um, Old Carter Whiskey Co. is Instagram. You can also email Sherry at OldCarterWhiskeyCo.com. You can email Jay at OldCarterWhiskeyCo.com. Don't email me because I won't answer. Do not email Mark. Email Jay at OldCarterWhiskeyCo.com. Yes. (laughs) All of your needs, Jay will take care of you. We love you, Jay. (laughs) Poor Jay. We love you. We do love Jay. The man of all trades. And and we we, our place down here at 105 West Market is open by appointment ish where we don't have staff we're quiet we're working in the back so it's not we're not really we don't do tours we love um to to open the door and pop in and out when folks are here um but so if you're around and you're in louisville and we're here we'd love to accommodate you um, but we are not open on a regular basis, so definitely reach out first. I'm just going to start knocking every time I come by. Absolutely. <laughs> I work right down the street. Very good. It might be just one of those 5 o'clock stop-ins. They won't be here. <laughs> I'm going to do like the Big Bang Theory <laughs> knock. I'm going to be like, okay, all right, so what time do I need to be here to do the seven-hour tastings? <laughs> Um, Carter napped. Two. I don't know. I want to be Carter napped, please. Yes, uh, that's a good question. That's good. But the social club will be will be rolling out in the next couple of months. All right. Mark is busy making sawdust and building uh, beautiful cabinets, like much like you see up above us. Gorgeous. And so with the social club, um, we'll we'll have a beautiful room just like this, and we'd love to hang out with you guys and taste some whiskey and and and. What we're most excited about with the club is people from all over the place are reaching out and wanting to be part of it and watching them meet each other and come together over it's whiskey, which is what we all love. And I know Pat loves it, too. Oh, yeah. It, whiskey is a great connector. 100%. I love that. That's a good ending. Good deal. Good deal. Well, if you want to find Bourbon Barrel Talk, you can find us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all the social media mediums. You can also email us if you got a question at bourbonbarreltalk at gmail.com. Um, you can also hit us up on the Instagram, the Instant Messenger, or Facebook Messenger. We'll answer any of your questions or comments or concerns there. If you want to ask us a question about this, and if you don't touch the Carters, you can always you know ask us a question, and we'll get in touch with them and, and, and get those answered for you. So this is Scott. Mark and Sherry Carter, Ryan, Jess Ann, and Pat Heights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All signing off. Surprise Peace out. Him. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>